Social media was not like the way it is yeah. right now. Mm. So I I didn't really know like the day to day of what it means to be a mom. Yeah. And that's why I love being a content creator right now because I want when girls follow me they see <laughs> it's not rosy, it's mm. expensive, it's tiring, it's, it's really nice, epic. yes, but like think about it before you do it. Yeah, you see true. then we didn't have that. It was just like, oh you have a baby, it's cute, kind of Boom. like, you know, it takes a village so the village will help you raise it. Kama baba naruka mimba na village. Na village je. No, <laughs> Will that change uh, during a period, like wearing panties? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, mm-hmm. that one is now different because that one is necessity, and yeah. I know why. Other times, yeah. it's just like why? What is the reason? But yeah. you've made so much sense because now, me, my favorite kind of panties right now are the lace ones that are not even panties. Those are the like the ones you like wearing. Do you you love <laughs> to wear them. Good for you. Good That's for you. You don't need to talk about what we do after the yeah. podcast. Go <laughs> the I've missed this. Go <laughs> Wear yeah. what you'd like. Mm. I'm just saying, me, I was, I was okay, flabbergasted when I saw them. Like <laughs> Lace <laughs> panties are the most uncomfortable know, underwear first of all in the world. I wouldn't know, but they look nice. The justice is that it's mature Mickey Mouse. I'm avocado. Hey, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Um, ciders. I like ciders because they're like. Yeah, eh. <laughs> so but curious. <laughs> yeah, so please. Hey, Did yeah. you see that tweet for the baby who posted two ciders like I said, Makayende? Wapi? Then someone comes like, Kayende Wapi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, <laughs> where? <laughs> to the loo, maybe. Just being and Wapi. No, two ciders, because that's a perfect, that's perfect for like a night for me or like a glass of wine. Yeah. That's fine, but or something like that. Kayende? Yeah, it's not Kayende anything. <laughs> <laughs> to my park. <laughs> Do you do you have people who stop you as you're just moving around and then they tell you things about your own life that you posted? <laughs> Perpetually. Okay. <laughs> Literally, I'll be in the club. I'll be in the club and someone will be like, Wait. I'll be in the club and someone will be like, hey, where's Mutana? Mutana is my four-year-old. <laughs> I'm like, just let me look in my handbag. I think I'm going to I'm going to put her in my bag. I'm going to put her in my bag. I'm going to put her in my bag. I'm going to put her outside the club when she lets me 18 and above. That is too much work. Oh, damn time. We have four year old days in a bar. Literally all the time. But you know what? What Over 26. This is the Bag of Us. This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Mike's Article. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. What up, my name is Chuck C, the mastermind, your main guy, the Lord Chuck C, the boy from my eyes around, the amazing masters around, the whole What's gang that? is around, episode 192, we are... Mike Shea! And of course, it goes without saying, Murugi Munji is in the building! What's that? And I should do energy, we talk about... This is me, a taxi. And he hasn't sipped on the good I want that. His volume has increased times a thousand. I was like, what is going on? You know, I can see you from the side of the Yeah. I go like... Hakwa mesema? Hey! Wow! He's giving my toddlers. Uh, hey, toddlers have energy. Hey, they do. They do. Mm-hmm. I think toddlers, unemployed people, yeah. even toddlers are unemployed. Hey. unemployed. Hey. And broke men, all of them have the same kind of energy. I'm a broke man down and nine rounds. That's why you're a partner. I'm a broke man. I'm a broke man. I'm a broke man. I'm a So, do you know Mama County? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> so, Obina has <laughs> this dude who plays a lady on the show. Okay. And it's Mama County. Mm-hmm. And all he does is he shows up when guys are recording and then he asks for drink, whatever you want to drink Correct. on set. Mm-hmm. And then he's just a funny dude. So he'll always ask f- funny questions. Mm-hmm. So, Mas, can you be on Mama County today? And <laughs> <meet us? laughs> Baba Country. <laughs> <laughs> Baba Country. <laughs> can I get you some Red Bull sugar free? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, of course. Mini Kona Yangu Tari. Rogi has her strap. Yeah, but he's like, halfway. I'll have this half. then you'll re- replace. Should I open on Yeah, you? please. Thank you. Make it to tamu. There you go. Cheers, these. Cheers. Ah. How many am I replacing? Two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And one for yourself. And one for yourself. Mm-hmm. And one for yourself. Cool. Damn. So, As it should be. Okay, chimney with cheers. Get this thing on You know, I think I think fridges are the only things cooler than me. <laughs> you haven't missed me? Nah, please. <laughs> Talk about it in the next episode. <laughs> Cheers, I got guys. things to say. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, you know, when... Uh, that Cheers, really good. Mm. That tastes really good. Very crisp. Ooh. You know you know when... Uh, me like it. So, so a list was sent to me. 
So I'm reading through names. I get your name, I'm like, Murugi. Because now in the back of my head, I'm like, this is what I'm talking about. He's willing to get Murugi. I'm like, get Murugi. But I, I had so much fun reading up on Murugi on the yeah. internet. Oh, really? What a yeah. life you live. <laughs> Nine lives. I would not recommend people reading. I think you've got to make people go and, Where's and, the and Google. <laughs> Where's the memoir? Where's the memoir? The internet is lying. The internet is a okay. liar. So we're here to compare stats. Mm. I had so much. I saw I had so much fun. Mm. And then we asked checkmates. So you guys have in between us. We mm-hmm. have checkmates. So exactly. ask checkmates mm-hmm. to ask you questions. Mm-hmm. And so we're gonna read some of them at the end of it. But okay. I think a couple of things stood out for me. Mm-hmm. So um, a lot of guys say your story is very inspiring. Um, a lot of guys say you are such a, fo- a force to reckon with, and then a lot of people appreciate your work ethic. Amazing, thank yeah. you. Mm. Like generally, even that. if you check generally. Mm. Um, so yeah, so there's a bunch of things I wanna talk to you about. You know, life, uh, social media, I'm ready. Mother, I'm ready. Mother, I'm ready. mother every time, mm. marriage. Mm. Um, but I think something that also stood out for me is just how open you live your life True. on social media, mm-hmm. bro. You know, through the ups and downs. Um, you know, you sort of always. Um, just on up to your real life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it almost feels like you don't fear sharing anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is, is that scary? Just it knowing fe- <laughs> what social media is like? Yeah. So it fe- okay, I guess it feels that way when people watch my life. But obviously there's always a bit of fear in like sharing your life with anyone. Like yeah. whether it's like the public or even just with the, the like public. ordinary people, there's yeah. always a fear because when you give a part of yourself to the public, when you give, when you show a part of yourself to anyone, there's a fear that they could take advantage of it. They could misunderstand it. They could misuse miscommunicate it. it. They could misuse it. Literally anything. But for me, it's kind of just like, I mean, anyone can say anything about my life. I want the narrative of my life to be determined by me. Mm. So that it's like, you could all say this, but this is what Murugi has said about mm. her own life. So for me, that is like a bigger um, a bigger thing to aspire to than just the fear of like, oh, someone could, you know, misunderstand me or someone could whatever. Because we are living anyway. Mm. So, I mean, what is the difference? Just the, the only difference is just that me, I've posted about what I'm doing. But yeah. I'm doing the same things that everyone You're else doing is doing, by the way. Yeah. yeah. It's just that I've posted about it. That's normal. Like, mm. do, do you do you have people who stop you as just moving around and then they tell you things about your own life that you posted? <laughs> Perpetually. <laughs> Literally, I'll be in the club. I'll be in the club and someone will be like, Wait. I'll be in the club and someone will be like, hey, where is Mutana? Mutana is my four-year-old. <laughs> I'm like, just let me look in my handbag. I think I'm going to put her in my back. 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 I'm that I've posted online. So I just yeah. answer nicely and, uh, you know, keep it pushing. Mutana is in a different club. Too much tequila. Or they'll be like, oh, please go and say hi to Mukeni. I'm like, but now I'll say, who is saying hi? Nani, Auntie Maria, please play unboggable. I'll be like, and I'm just like, yeah, because uh, my kids now know that many people know them who they don't yeah. necessarily know. So I'll just, I just go and tell them, oh, people said hi to you. And they'll be like, oh, wow, well, nice. But they don't know that it's you <laughs> yeah. that who said hi, you know. People mm. used to think we live together. Yeah. Oh, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Rent in Nairobi is not yet that expensive. Ah, okay, fine. But if we're going in this trajectory. Hey, good <laughs> Hello, roommates. <laughs> You're talking about the drinking. Our friend Erosh normally says mm. the drinking will continue until the economy is stable. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's basically, the drinking will, not will, will <laughs> never <laughs> end. Standard. The drinking will never stop. It's standard, bro. Mm. Yeah. Um, I saw, I saw you, got, you got arrested during the finance bill protest. Yeah, I did. That really was not that nice. Was that the first it was, time you ever got arrested? No, it was not. I've been arrested like twice before. One yeah. for a traffic offense. Yeah, yeah. Another time, I can't remember what I was doing, but yeah, so I've been arrested before. <laughs> That's but this the second was the one. most. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> 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 
Why is it of it? You know, people are always because on this podcast, Paul was just waiting for that snippet yeah. there and take and be like, "You see, Murugi Muni, she said that she was." <laughs> you it's can't trick me. Hey, yeah. If you can NGC. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the finance bill one that was the most dramatic. Yeah. I would say, obviously, it was yeah. the most dramatic. Yeah. And at some point, I was just like, "I love my country, but do I love my country that this much? This much? Mm-hmm. What usually goes through your mind, Me, I mean. <laughs> After you've seen the abductions, people are not coming out. Yeah, and then you are a popular face. Yeah, well, at that time, you know, obviously, it didn't matter because the police don't know that yeah, you're a popular, popular face. face they, they don't care. They're just like, you get in there. So first of all, I was just thinking, oh man, this is such an inconvenience. And then too, I was just thinking, because I'd gone to town with my sisters and I had my khakis. So I was just thinking, I should have left my khakis with one of those girls. Mm. That's what I was thinking. Then besides, I was just like, oh, anyway, I know my man got it. So, yeah, because hey, that, 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 that's what hey, made me smile. My man, my man, it's my like, man. guys, you've been arrested. The next video, yeah, we've called Zach. We've, we've called Zach. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Hey. Phone calls He's going to have a reliable man. Yeah, I was just like, anyway, I know I'll get out. Might not be now, but I know but that he's, he's on top of it. Good. Might not even exactly. get to the station. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did though, and we stayed five hours, and that was Damn. not fun. Yeah. At Central. Yeah, at Central. So what so, would have happened if you'd have scheduled content? Dude. Because Central, like you know, fucking make up to IG. No, no, no. There's yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why. In fact, during that man, <laughs> that man, the man time, no one was posting any other content yeah. besides finance bill. So that you can be cancelled. Yeah. You, you saw them. some people but being yeah. cancelled online. Uh, How many times have I been cancelled? When you saw, yes, only ah, uh, oh, yeah. I've been cancelled like a few times, ten times. But me, I'm always like, <laughs> when someone is like, she's cancelled. I'm like, who are you to cancel me? Literally, you're yeah. like nobody. Yeah. Literally, well, the only people who, call, the only the person who has called me is the one who can cancel me. me. Only but God can cancel me. Everyone else is just one on one. Yeah, the last time we cancel, what, what had you done? Oh wow, wow, wow! When was the last time that I was cancelled? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Behavior lately. I think so, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I don't spend that much time on like blog pages or whatever. So sometimes it's just like if I go in my DMs and I see someone saying, Oh, Muruki, have you seen what they're saying? And I'm like, No, may I haven't seen. And I don't want to see. So if already I see a message, I started with, Wow, I can't believe that they. Done. done. I'm not even reading any more of the message because if it's over happening over there, Leave it how there. is it affecting my life mm. over here? Mm. You know, kind of thing. So, have you yeah. Ever, have you ever woken up to like missed calls from close friends? Oh my god. Oh, that's very scary. One. Now you know that one is like, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anything to do with like my marriage or anything to do with like me and my husband, that one usually I'll wake up and like I won't find many missed calls because my mm. close friends and family know not to. Yeah. I don't want to be flustered. Yeah. I like that. Because on the day, yeah, on the day that things are happening where everyone is just saying so many things and everyone is talking about you, mm. it feels like the it's the biggest story in the world. Bugs. And then, even though it's like, maybe it's this amount of people talking about you, but because they are super loud, mm. it the feels like it's everyone. Yeah. It feels like it's the whole world. But one thing I've learned is that if you give it enough time, by tomorrow, someone's husband will have done something else. Mm. The next day, the, the Bahatis are doing seven days of uh, <laughs> pranks. The next day, it'll be Miliwa Jesus has gone to Dubai. Yeah, exactly. Yes, so, no, you <laughs> have to be... Six years of pranks, then yeah. the rest on the seven. Yeah. Exactly. And then there's like birthday gifts, somebody's being bought for Land Rover and like Mouse Brand Mouse, Jana, did you see? No. Nani? Gifted his girlfriend Brand Mouse. No. Uh, Brown oh, Mouse. Wow. Gifted, gifted his girlfriend a hundred panties. <laughs> Good for her. And then box them on Instagram. And they look at all variations: lace, thongs, period panties. That's thoughtful. Yeah. No, hundred. Hundred. Maybe she had communicated to him that it's something Group that she's struggling with and she wants. Who knows? Yeah. We can't enter people's business <laughs> and pose <laughs> <much. laughs> no, But honestly... You're confused. You're just like... hundred what? panties. Okay, the po- did he have to post them? Did he post them? That's they the posted. Thing. How did they find out? I don't give <laughs> <even> them. <laughs> Did she Who post knows? them? Maybe at the neighbor. I, I saw, I saw, I think it was like one of those Nairobi Gossip Club oh clips. God. Which means Ooh. someone, they posted and then they just picked the clip and said, Brand Mom's, Brand Mom's a gift girlfriend. And maybe, maybe they're designer, maybe they're designer panties. No. Louis they, they Vuitton, look like Gucci Victor panties. Yeah. Or yeah. Maybe, maybe it was just fed, fed up of being gifted socks. Hey. I look like I got you. The next round is on no, me. But a hundred panties. A hundred panties you. is a lot. Where, That's by the way, where do you guys buy panties? Uh, okay, because the, the only ones I've seen are those ones that quick match. What do you know about you? What people do? Lingerie, <laughs> lingerie hub. You, you don't, you don't wear panties. I'm, 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 I would say I'm an anti-panty gotcha. um, mm. yeah uh, advocate. I feel mm. like panties were invented by the patriarchy to keep women 
a, a just like under under bondage because like what yeah yeah are they true uncomfortable? yeah they are quite uncomfortable Depends I feel they like are uncomfortable it's super uncomfortable and women need to be are honest with themselves are you wearing them because it's just like you think it's sexy and you want to do it just or is it just because you've been like raised to be like you need to wear panty or you're not a good girl you have Ask to yourself. wear undies exactly according to who according to your auntie and according your mom according to and health standards you nah, just have to wear not undies. necessarily what I would what, differ what is the difference in cleanliness between your panties and the inner of your pants because since it's the same washing yeah, machine that's yeah. exactly what is the difference yeah. what is the difference This is, let's say, assuming you're wearing cotton pants and a cotton underwear. What is What's the, the difference? difference? This is cotton. Same cotton. Mean, right. The juices are going to be on a liner and not on my jeans. Okay, okay. so now I guess it depends on everyone's comfort level. Mm. And you see that if you Landrova are comfortable. Party. Yeah. <laughs> and some people... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I I can't even imagine. Okay, no. let's let's just picture this. Because um, ke- normal Kenyan setting, mm. you have to use a job, you have to use whatever. So think about no, it. You have no, to no, use no. A job. I'm just saying. That's I, I said. People. Normal Kenyan setting, <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. you have to use jobs, right? Like heated and cold mm-hmm. seats. Mm. There you go. Juices, the one boy through her jeans or the chair. Aya, you come sit. They've eh. They'll pass the through le- their pants and through the door. So what you think is that this string of the g-string is the one protecting your your is keeping your your vaginal hygiene intact? Yeah. Is that what you Quite. imagine? Ask her. Got that turn up. You see, that's a mental thing. You have. Do you think in your mind that that's what's keeping you safe? But it's not. Mm. It really isn't. Does that, does that There are change? people who even if you have, for example, okay, it also depending on how much discharge people get throughout their whatever. Mm-hmm. But on the times you have discharge, you could also just put a panty liner on your pants. Oh. Yeah, it's not that necessary. Panty is not the thing, one like thing that is uh, holding you together. <laughs> Some two aji so true. Upon the sitting position. Yeah, now that's that's up to you. Yeah, <laughs> see. So, yeah, but, sorry. But would that change uh, during a period, like wearing panties? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, mm-hmm. that one is now different because that one is necessity, and yeah. I know why. Other times, yeah. it's just like why? What is the reason? But yeah. you've made so much sense because now me, my favorite kind of panties right now are the lace ones that are not even panties. Those are the like the ones you like wearing. Do you you love <laughs> to wear them? <laughs> Good for you. Good That's for you. You don't need to talk about what we do after the yeah. podcast. <laughs> go the tenor. I missed this. Go the go the tenor. Go the tenor. Tena. Tena. <laughs> Wear yes. what you'd like. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Me, I was I was okay, flabbergasted when I saw them. Like <laughs> Lace panties are the most uncomfortable know, underwear possible in the world. I wouldn't know, but they look nice. Just this is it is mature Mickey Mouse. I'm avocado. Hey, what what are you doing? No, but you see the ones that even the you know the vaginal area is mm. open. That's lingerie, mm, please. Yeah. But since we're not at one as far as we're close. How about this? How about this? That's different. And if you, I guess, oh, I'm going to try to get out of this, man. I'm telling like, now. That's like me leaving to go to the club. I love to wear my socks, my shoes, my condo. <laughs> That's, wow. that's why your condom is in the wallet. It's <laughs> ready, exactly. yeah. ready for war. Anyone mm. who still puts condoms in a wallet in 2024, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, <laughs> okay. Condoms yeah. just stay at home. And if you have sex somewhere where there are no condoms, <laughs> then you buy. <laughs> why do you need to be in What? an office? Why not uh, just use the one you have at home? Exactly. Yeah. It's a condom in the wallet. I don't know if I'm three. I'm going to find a 50-200 trust. <laughs> not make sense. <laughs> Put your condoms in your well next time. Well noted. Drawer. Well yes. noted. For, for the condom like carrier. Like based on the prices nowadays. Na, Wait. Na, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll keep working on as a police. <laughs> Yo. But you've made such a good point. Yeah. I think your panties are invented by men, for sure. Exactly. Because if, if boxers are invented by, because boxers are functional. And super and ha- comfortable. And you have options. You want free? Shikai. <laughs> This is it. You want something compact? Shikai. True. You want something exactly. sporty? While you are to a checked boxers, <laughs> <It's Mama Kando. laughs> yes, but yes. women's underwear was definitely made with yeah. a man in mind because yeah. it's just like it does. It, it doesn't serve the purpose. Yeah, hey, I could go on and on about this. Think about it. Are you wearing a panty because you want to or because you are told? Ask yourself. You well, know, for, for in, us, right now in this moment, it's because I have to. Mm, mm-hmm. Necessity counts. <laughs> they are there. They are there. <laughs> this necessity counts, bro. This is a option. Can I call you, Matakaro? Why? I'm an iron lady. I know. <laughs> Do they treat you like this every day? All the time. Have all you heard the time? All the time. 
So, <laughs> unaona this is just when we're recording. Mm. So it's banter. Yeah, yeah, unaona when it happened. Oh, it's all the t- she's just mm. all the time. Wow. But I will call you if you don't pick up akutukane. <laughs> And maybe in such a I'm a big game marakumi. I love that. I'm yeah, a big game. What what are you doing? I'm the baby girl of this place. You better pick up. <laughs> You guys know what is more essential. important than me? Why are you not picking? Okay, Murugi, mm. let me ask you. When you call someone and you hear they're on a call, what do you do? You As a normal human being. Yeah, you'll keep calling. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. We have, we have double the Lulu today. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and they're wearing matching clothes. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> what you're not is, winning. I expect you to see I am calling call. and instantly hang up that other have one and those, pick up mine. Have you for like, it, it, it was a Brazilian guy in a shootout. He's lying down his shorts. He's holding a gun like this and a phone here. Exactly. And then the caption is never too busy for you, my love. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's the energy, Thank you. Babe. Thank the you. Energy. Hey. Mm. Never too busy for you, my love. Yeah. Hey. So you just keep ringing. Because yes, yeah. Mara does that. It's yeah. Alafu na jinde. Because phone has got to be dead. Bad. Good. Tell them. I hang up with Yeah, there's a very important call coming in. And for you to not pick her call, it means you've looked at her calling. Yeah. You've thought about the person you're speaking to and you've said, Maria is not important. No. no. You know what? Oh. Maria will tell you after you hang up. Maybe I'm talking to my grandma who I haven't spoken to in three months. Yeah. Why? Maria How is that good? Like, problem? One more day wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Hey. not spoken to her in three months, like one more day wouldn't hurt. Unadu. Let me tell you. After you pick up. Unadu. 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 Okay, I'm trying to defend you. Wow. Oh, you know what the emergency is? <laughs> at Yamat <laughs> KFC. Uh-uh. Hawana wings, imagine. Okay, <laughs> 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 like, wait, do you wait? My cab driver today. But that was a text. I didn't call you. But all the time, I'm going to go. I'm like, hey, I'm going to go to Plaza, I'm going to go to Plaza. I'm like, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, Murugi, is anything Maria wants to tell you, can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Can it? No, it can't. It should. It's and important I, to her. It's better if you don't hear it. <laughs> it's important to her. Please. I know Mariah reacts before she tells you. Yeah. And I say, hey, yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, Yeah, because even I'm shocked. What, what I'm will I not, you this, I'm shocked. What will I not believe? The traffic today. Like, <laughs> of course there's traffic here in Nairobi at 8 in the morning. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> These men need to respect you. Honestly, pick up your call. And that tells you show was blessing you. <laughs> nah. That's why I'm broke. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. And moral of the story. Don't wear panties yeah. and, <laughs> and hang up when you call people. And that's It's true. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Final. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. so uh, I want to take you back to uh, school. Mm-hmm. So you go to University of Cape Town. That's for your master's, right? Yeah. Were you working before you went to... No, I didn't. I just finished USIU in Kendawko Street. Straight. Yeah. I was on scholarship. Ah, okay. Mm. So then um, when you come back, what next? Like what happened in your life just when, you come, when, when, when you're back? I looked for a job. That was like December... When did I come back? January 24th. 14. Mm. I looked for a job, applied. Um, actually, I only applied to one place, and that one place is the place that I got a job. Thank God. BAT, I remember. Yeah. And I started working in September. So I was doing like some side hustles here and there, making clothes because I had learned how to shona. And then, yeah, I started working and I was in corporate for a while, a long yeah. time. Yeah. So well, not that long. So that, that's, where you, you, that's where you met Zach and then you resigned. I did. <laughs> yes, exactly. I made hey. love my life. <laughs> <laughs> so you met. Uh, okay, so um, how long after you met Zach did you resign? It was very, very short. So we met. He was <laughs> <laughs> by the way. Yeah. yeah. Why do you need to wait for long? If you already know someone is the one for you, why are you waiting? <laughs> we met We met January. Um, no, we met February 2015. We um, started dating March 2015. Mm-hmm. I quit in July 2015. Wow. We got engaged in August 2015. December 2015, Rurashio. Hey, March 2016, married. And hey. the rest is history. It's giving gatekeeping. Yeah. Yeah. It's no. giving, it's one giving year. A, a, a one-year strategy for a company. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like economize. Yeah, because why are we wasting Quarter time? One, we meet. Why, Quarter. why are you why wasting, are we wasting time? Yeah. time? And by that time, by the way, I was a single mom. And you know, as a single mom, it's just like, you can see bullshit from a, a mile away. So yeah, already true. it's just kind of like, mm. okay. what are we doing true. here? Mm. Yeah. You be serious or you step and She wait for the next guy to be serious. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. But damn, so then which, so because you, you got your first kid at 19. Mm-hmm. You, did you know Marie Stop, Stop's existence? 
I don't think there was. Was there Mary Stops? There was. Then? There was very much Mary Stops. Yes, there was. But at that time, by the way, it wasn't an oops. I I intentionally tried ah, for that at baby. 19. Yes, <laughs> at 19. No way. Before, wait, yeah, even Maria wait. here has said no. <laughs> I was very, very Delulu. The guy that I was with, I was madly in love with him. And he was like an older guy. And we used to just talk about like, oh my God, How old are we talking? Not like that much older. He was like 24, maybe. Something like that. I was 19, yes. So I was like, you need to document Oh, yeah. And we were just so in love. And it was just like, oh my God, what better way for us to solidify our love than with a baby? So when I got pregnant, I was so happy. You didn't think of going to Java? Stupid, stupid me. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, what is your teenagehood like? That's what, for you that's what I wanted to mm, ask. To want a baby at the age of 19. My life so my, my life was this? easy. You see, my okay. life had just been easy. I didn't know like the reality, you know, the complexities of raising a child. I okay. didn't know. So at that time, it was just kind of like, it was a very romanticized idea of what it was like to actually raise children. You hadn't thought about the money and mm. the time, the effort, the breastfeeding and things like that. It was just like, oh, cute. Look, cute little baby. We have a two. We have a was two there, us. Was there... Was there an income between you two? No, there wasn't. Well, <laughs> I mean, he had an income, mm-hmm. kind of, but it wasn't like stable. Okay, he was kinda. just like a, a, a freelancer. Kind of. As in, yeah. do you mean yellow? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That kind of thing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That kind of thing. And you are like, yeah, where are we? Yeah. Where are we? You're the one. What does your boyfriend do, Shugli one, two? I'm a one, two, three. But you see... You talk as we coming out. But you see, at that time, there was no, like, social media was not like the way it is right yeah. now. Mm. So I, I didn't really know know like the day to day of what it means to be a mom and that's why I love being a content creator right now because I want when girls follow me they see (laughs) it's not rosy it's Mm. expensive it's tiring it's nice yes but like think about it before you do it you see then we didn't have that it was just like oh you have a baby it's cute kind of like you know it takes a village so the village will help you raise it (laughs) Hmm. (laughs) Hmm. (laughs) come on village No, honestly. <laughs> yeah. You see now when you come online, you can see that it's tiring. Like you finish, you finish all this, all of you are just going to go home and be like, oh, oh. me, I'm oh, going home to mom, three people. Mom, 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 mom. Mom. Exactly. Yeah. Think yeah. about that before yeah. you now have the so, kids. So what do you think is, is a reasonable age to intentionally get pregnant? I would say over 25. Definitely. First of all, they said oh, your 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 what do you call it? Frontal cortex. Yes. Or like the, your brain oh, is yeah. not even fully developed before you get to 25. I think that's mm. for like most for like men and women. Yeah. So before that, you really don't know you what no decisions business. you're making. Like you honestly. Like kid you kid. honestly, so over 25, that's when I would say now who can do someone. You are 30 year olds, but frontal lobe. Mm. You're yeah. speaking from a point of view. Yeah. 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 Ah, me, I'm the smallest. Ask around. I'm the smartest mm. person in this room. <laughs> what they say when you're the smartest person in a room, find a different room. <laughs> and yet here you are. Imagine. So, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'll, still, I'll still be the smartest. It's true. <laughs> we are so lucky to have you here, though. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes. Yes, indeed. You know, I've missed two episodes. Mm. I feel so good. Yeah. Oh. Do, do, do any of you guys have kids <laughs> that you know of? Some swimmers. <laughs> No, nah, tell yeah, us, no, tell no. us the truth. Tell us the truth. I don't kids. Mm. No, none of us has kids. None of us really? Kids, yeah. okay. But she's gonna be the first one to get a kid. Well, yeah. Most probably. Most and I really? Most about, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you see, you, when you say we're debating, and then you said we are wearing. Seriously, no, I, didn't no. Say that. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> I did not say that. We're individually making decisions <laughs> individually. <laughs> we are seriously jokers, but yeah, but we're, we're, we're trying to figure it out. When the podcast does well, we'll adopt a baby. Oh, wow. But we'll, we'll audition. <laughs> we'll audition. We'll audition. You'll have to be a cool baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't cry a lot. Yeah. Making babies, by the way, is so super easy. Super easy. I feel like I that's, where, that's where I got them. Yeah. That, that's where the real work. Yeah. Now Do you know it takes like 20 seconds and two tequila shots? You didn't even need tequila shots. 20 seconds. Who needs those? Even sober. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Even sober. So trying at 19, was it like you go to, you go pee on the stick and it's negative and you're like, ah. No, I'm quite fertile. So it was like the first hey. month I was Are already pregnant. Yep. Mm. Yeah. One try. Yeah, one try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For all my kids, by the way, one try. one try. Yeah. I've not had to struggle to, to yeah. um, and conceive. And all of them not natural birth it's, or? No, yes. Yes. Okay. I like myself. I enjoy my <laughs> vagina. I was not about to push babies out of there. Yeah. Damn. I thought that's a decision that the doc, that you make with the doctor. No, that no, is, no, no, no you can decide. No. No. That was before. No. Now you can just decide. Ibora will come up because it's more expensive. Yes, but yeah. yeah, you can decide. 
Mm-hmm. So so when 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 baby gets here and then reality checks in that okay now I'm 19 and I have to raise this kid or bado tu ni levida loka Well my parents were very supportive I thank God they were mm-hmm. just like okay now this has happened we still love you we'll help you so they were supportive mm-hmm. my partner we stayed together for like five years after that wow. so that was pretty great mm-hmm. um his parents were also super supportive so it was like it was it was difficult but it wasn't like the worst I've seen people go through like Experience. horrible situations yeah. this one at least it's just like there was money it just wasn't like our money that we were working mm-hmm. for you yeah. know it was like our parents who are supporting <laughs> us kind yeah. of thing yeah but yeah. it worked out eventually thank god i feel like the story could have been a lot worse so i'm not even complaining yeah. mm, people okay. go through Crazy worse mm, go through a lot worse mm. if you had a chance to be 19 again tomorrow would you do the same Yes because I love my son um but I I always say he's a blessing who was born of a mistake because obviously it was a mistake to be a stupid ass little 19 year old deciding to have a baby but I love him so much and I can't imagine life without him he's 14 now so Wow yeah so in, 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 in five man city <laughs> That's a smart child Go and sit with that child GGMC <laughs> GGMU GGMC GGMC Which one did you say this one is? Japan It's a nice shirt though Thank you yeah, Easy, really I tell them I don't support any football team So mm. I just buy any jersey that looks nice yeah. It makes oh, sense by the way Yeah, You're the one who's actually fight, winning yeah. mm. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations Well done <laughs> Oh okay. lord So then Um what point do you now decide like you know what maybe this employment thing career done with this mm. I want to move on to other things So after I left that first company BAT I worked at a few other places I worked in agency I worked um at Sport Pesa I worked at my Dawa hey, and I can imagine grand Where Oh Jean yes yeah. exactly yeah uh, Yes oh. Oh, yes 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 I enjoyed working there I was in communications And then at some point when I had my second born Uh, who is now six. When I gave birth to her, I was just like, oh my God, motherhood is so hard. And I started posting about it. And that was when I was yummy mommy. A lot of people remember me as yummy mommy. Yeah, oh yeah. Yummy mommy, mommy comes from. Mm, exactly. Because I was just like, I'm a mother and I'm delicious. So, you know, yummy mommy just made sense. I just remember, delicious mother. That was the one that was on Twitter. <laughs> delicious I mean, mother. Yes. <laughs> oh guys, hey, which are like, your name? What, what, what? Online, online online I was goldilocks I was like goldilocks because I had golden dreadlocks mm. yes and then when I cut them I became yummy mommy yeah, exactly okay. and then now muruki muni yeah so anyway so I used to post about like just like my struggles I didn't start like intentionally at I want to become an influencer or a content creator I was just posting about like mm. stuff that was happening to me and like you know motherhood new motherhood what life is like working and things mm. like that and then people started following me kidogo kidogo I'm at 10,000 followers 15,000 20,000 and then I started making money online and I was like I remember my first contract ever I got 100k and I was like wow people are just getting 100,000 just from just posting see, yeah. a video actually just coming to talk on stories and I was just like this is so easy it literally felt like free money yeah. so at some point I was just like this was like December 2018 I told my husband me I want to quit my job so that I can focus on this full time because I was like if I'm being able to make this like, amount of money yeah, and I'm, I was in corporate yeah exactly I was like if I just focus on it full time how much more yeah. could I make and I really desperately wanted time freedom you know I just want to I like being able to do what I want I want to wake up at 12 if I want I want to go to the gym at 3 p.m. Mm. I want to be able to drop my kids and pick them up from anywhere at any time I really hated being employed so I quit and it worked out thank god but even if it hadn't Obviously my husband was there but my 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 yeah if without him I don't think I, obviously I would not have quit because you see that one I knew is like even if things don't work out see I'm not sleeping yeah. on the streets you know it's just like I'm I'm comfortable um but yeah it worked out and everything has been um upward and upward trajectory since December 2018 yeah. I've been doing it full time yeah, since fine. then yeah. mm. nice. so your yeah, mommy was just best of you sharing your personal experiences of being a mom yeah Literally. it was yeah and then at some point now after like doing it for like two and a half Yeah, three years, two and a half years. I think 2021 or 2022 is when I decided now I want to change to Murugi Muni because I realized it was limiting the number of brands I could work with because uh, it was just uh, like um, yes, mom, it's a mother. Brand. Exactly, it's just like mom. Everything yeah. is mom. I remember at a nilikuwa na dealing in a alcohol company but they were like no, no our money, legal team money, is very yeah. concerned about what but I was like mothers are those who drink. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> mothers are the ones who drink. 
going you're through a lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're, 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 if you finish breastfeeding at some point, you're still a man. Yeah, and I wasn't even breastfeeding. But then they were like, you see, somebody goes on your Instagram feed. They don't want oh. a picture of your kids here. Alafu kuna picture ya babies. Apa, apa kuna streaming. They don't mean, want yeah. any association with that. So, so, so I decided... It was limiting. It was limiting, yeah. yeah. It was limiting. Exactly, because Paul is just like, now it's just getting like, okay, diapers and stew. But and I, wanted, I wanted more things. Love now when the kids grow up, so sad diapers in Aisha. So no, no. So, so now can you still be... Yeah, and I... Yeah. <laughs> to keep giving back. <laughs> 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 one take in the studio. Thank you. Producer go like, done. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, I want to be seen as just like a whole woman, not just like a mother. Because there's me who's a podcaster, who's an entrepreneur, who's just like a woman who likes makeup and hair. And then also I'm a mom, but it's just one part of who I am, yeah. not like my whole brand, you know? Mm. Yeah. So I changed and it's been great. That's oh, a very nice. smart marketing decision. Yeah, that's mm. also really, yeah. really, really, really smart. Because you're going to have 80-year-old diapers. It's 96 months. Like, yeah, bro. That's a full grown man. What do you mean? Excuse me. Hey, yeah. He's just going to form two. Yeah. 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 Well, he's 156 months now, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and you know, the content creation industry is literally a trillion dollar. It's like, it's so huge. Because in, yeah. the, in the West, and the companies that spend the most yeah. on influencers and content creators are beauty, um, hair, um, things to do with like fitness. Mm. And so I was just like, okay, fine. It makes sense for me to, if this is my full-time job, to focus on things which is like, I know I can make money from these yeah. things, not just... Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Maputa. So Cristiano got a million followers on YouTube in 90 minutes. <laughs> Bro, he's, uh, he's, he's now <laughs> Did we almost do 15 million? Was, oh, 10 plus million. Yeah, oh, so it's going to like 12 oh, million. Oh, in you think under next time you're showing at you, use Samsung. <laughs> 40 million dollars. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Really? What does yeah. someone do with that much power, that much money? I wonder, yeah. my God. Because, hey. But, but Sasa, the thing is, at some point, Sasa, there's no change in the quality of life. I guess so. True. Yeah, so... Like literally, no, regardless but, of how no, much money. But just think in. about it for a brand. Yeah. Having this man just hold on and see Literally, yeah. But for the brand, Kushka, you can read believe it too. But that's for you. So there's no difference allowed. between 100 million dollars and 300 million dollars. No, I'm saying for yeah. the brand. For the brand, I'm, I'm saying mm. for a brand, not him. But are we sure there's no difference? Yeah. Bro, you'll be on a yacht, I'll be on a yacht. <laughs> you'll be in, in the presidential suit, I'll be in the presidential suit. Because now you see, the, maybe the thing is, where he's maybe, reached, maybe your yacht is he's, bigger. He's bought everything that yeah. he needs. There's nothing new that he'll yeah. buy. Yeah. Because Atakama Nigari, you'll just have the latest, but you had the is previous the, latest. Which is it's true. Now, he owns it's an like island. Asking, yeah. If it's a yacht, he has... What, what, what else will you get? It's like saying no. I have a 17-bedroom mansion, and then you tell me I have a 25-bedroom mansion. Yeah, yeah. So what's the you know, what's the I guess difference? so. Maybe yeah. this, that's why these billionaires go for these experiences that are going down to the Titanic, mm. going yeah. to space. Watching people those get are yeah. Yeah. Watching, yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh my God. Actually, yeah, I guess that's why. You finished uh, eating human flesh. What the hell are you watching? Yeah, I'll show sir. you. That's what you want. I don't trust. Hey! Hey! That's like the advice from don't us. Don't trust most with the remote. I'm, I'm concerned. Not, no. I'm just saying yeah. the world is twisted and people yeah. need to know yeah. that it's twisted. Mm. There's a restaurant in Hollywood that serves human flesh. Is How it legal? You know? It's legal, yeah. <laughs> is it legal? Yeah. How can you believe that? It's legal because the people legal. who donate the pound of flesh do it like you go and send papers. That if you die. No, not if you die. You know you can donate a part of your flesh without dying. Hmm? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you Wait, serious? People... I'm serious. Actually, who's this John Legend's wife? What's her name? Sad. No, I am. Go read about John Legend's wife and mm -hmm. cannibalism. Chrissy Teigen. Yeah. She has donated. Not a part now, of... until we are recording a pod. <laughs> <laughs> she, just went into a she hasn't donated, but she has. She goes to those restaurants. Oh my god! I used to go. Oh, wow. oh my god! Day. Yeah. Oh, damn. Allegedly. Would you go if you had the opportunity? Nah, man. Are you sure? May I stop at pork. <laughs> no, <laughs> Casey, pork is where I draw the line. She would. She would. Not that she Either has. Human. Oh, gosh. There's I mean. a restaurant, you know. I'll send you links. It's okay. No, I'm going to take that <laughs> I'm good. I don't believe you still. Really? I'm sure it's you. like a million dollars for like a bite or something like that. But so. even still, the, what is the so, so, morality of that? Because now if you allow... Because people, as human mm -hmm. beings, in a capitalist system, there's a lot of things people can do for money. Yep. Yeah. Including things that people ideally wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. So now if you say it's okay for you to come sell your flesh, then what you are basically saying yeah. is that when people get very desperate, this is a, a common trend that is going to happen. Well, women but, sell their eggs all the time. Yeah. But I think selling eggs... How is it is different? different? How? But if you're getting a part of your body out and guys are going to eat it... <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no. It's not like it, it, this part of your body is going at it to treat someone. Yeah. You know the way you can donate, donate a kidney mm. to someone? This is literally just for consumption. You don't yeah, think 200 I mean, years from now it will be legal to sell your kidney? Yeah, I mean... The world is getting messed up. Maybe not even 200 it, years. Yeah. Very Less, soon. exactly. Yeah. Maybe even 50 years. Mm. Who knows? As long as you're an adult of sound mind, mm, but free will, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And then it's 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 usually hard to draw the line between. But it'll always. Yeah, because now if if you if you allow this thing like this thing to happen, that means you you've literally started creating an industry yeah. where guys can actually sell human flesh, <laughs> which true. means someone else will get desperate. They can't sell and their flesh, but they'll else. kill you because yeah, they know they'll make money from it. Okay, yeah. Now that. So I'm like, mm. I don't I don't see how this can be legal. Yeah. So I don't believe your story. Just send me the links, but I don't send us the links. Even but me, I still want send to the links. I got yeah. you. You guys have VPNs. <laughs> <laughs> Not <Stop> me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so so yeah. back to content. Okay, so because um because also a, a, a lot of the questions we saw mm. were um on why the yami yeah, yeah you changed from the yami mami brand, but mm. now it makes so much. You've, sense. Yeah, exactly. Now you have so many options, and you can mm-hmm. literally work with anyone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but uh, but also I think guess what else is yami. This thing is yummy. Yes, so right. I don't know what you guys think. It's nice. You, it actually you, tastes. You, you I've, I've you know. been drinking it. To me, it tastes very similar to the original Red Bull. Yeah. Um, which I like because then it's just like you're getting the same experience, you're getting the same energy kick or whatever, yeah. but without the sugar. Without the sugar, yeah, which yeah. is fantastic. Cool. Which actually, is I took a photo. Janan to send it to you, but I forgot. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I was at the supermarket just doing grocery shopping, and then I picked it. I saw it like. You saw Red Bull yeah. free. Yeah. Then I tried it at the house because I was working late. I think I lalad at 4 a.m. Yeah. And then oh, this is my first time trying this. Actually, yeah. it's very, it's How do you think? Good. Nice. Mm. Right? Actually, funny enough, because I keep telling him the other one, I kind of get palpitations. I feel like this one is quite smooth. Um, mm. Matt is actually very chill. Malisa Kwanza. Should you be? <laughs> no. Remember the other time I took yeah. half a Red Bull mm. and yeah, I was going crazy. This twist. Yeah, yeah. This I yeah. think I can definitely work with this. Yeah. Do you But, do you go to the gym? Mm. Okay, it's usually mm. male. Yeah. <laughs> What? Are are you you buy, I buy. Uncle, hey, I, I, do, I do be going Question for Rangi, right? Mm. If you you work out some, <laughs> yes, yes, but say yes. this year you've only gone to the gym once. If someone asks you, do you go to the gym? Do you normally go to the gym? Though you yeah, ask? maybe I identify as a gym goer without necessarily <laughs> going to. No, no that's, see, a, that's a good if answer. If I go to the gym once, <laughs> but I run eight, thrice a week. <laughs> 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 Girl, you, why this man? <laughs> these niggas are haters. No, <laughs> we're just against gaslight. <laughs> What do you Bro, mean? Do you, you do you actually run? Do you, you go for a run? The girls okay. can tell you. Is there I evidence? Go for a run. Is there like, evidence? Yes. Call Basha. Where is the evidence? <laughs> hey, let me call. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hey, hey, hey. This one we are calling. Please Bev. call. Please call Bev. You see now, if you post it <laughs> nah, on your on your, on your page Bev. more 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 uh, often, <laughs> we would know. <laughs> We'd be able to challenge see. Challenge accepted. <laughs> call Bev. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, call Bev. I'm calling Bev. Who is Bev? Your girl. And 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 you hold. His girl. Mm, Hi, oh, well. Yeah, his boo. Bev. Hello. Hey, question. Yeah. Question. Well, uh, when is the last time Mariah went for a jog or a run? Genuinely speaking, don't lie. <laughs> last year. Bev. 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 Oh, Bev. I tried to defend you. I've tried to defend you. I've done. I've done. Oh my God! Let me tell you, Mara will lie to you with a straight face. Like Mara, may I want to? I can go to the gym. I run three times a week. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bev, you no, are not lying to us. Today is a new day. You can start running from imagine, tomorrow. Imagine, imagine right? You can like start that. from I'm tomorrow. I'm so sure that next time when someone asks, nah. do you work out? You can be like, yes, I work out. If she calls you back, just tell her I've cut her off. No, wow, 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 wow. She's being truthful. She's a raggedy bitch. Who lies like that? <laughs> you! And she, and she didn't even take time to think about it. It seems like she's telling the truth. Last year. Last year. Raggedy bitch. Maybe she didn't even say last week. Also, you can tell by that a small laugh before yeah, yeah. that she's genuine. Like, We are not, like, not uh, But even Mara, if you're gonna lie, don't say three times a week. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm, actually, I'm actually very Same hard. occasionally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm hot. But it's yeah. okay, you can start running now. Mm-hmm. You I can do. become a runner. I do. Okay. <laughs> And also now with sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> you have sugar free and growing. <laughs> you know, I don't lie. have to run. Me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just like the reaction when she was talking to Muruga and I looked at Chuck. Says, <laughs> you are the guest. Dragon <laughs> ass for like I, I ran three times a week. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but it just seems like the people around you don't know that you've been working out, girl. That the whole she's cancelled. Anyway, so question. So for you, uh, I just want to know. If she runs three times a week, I run seven. <laughs> Yeah, make it ten. Mm-hmm. Normally, when do when do when do you normally drink a red bull? Like, when you're doing what? So sometimes before I work out in the morning, okay. if like I'm just like the, on the way to the gym and maybe I've not taken, I usually take a pre-workout. But sometimes when we measure, I'll take this one. It works just as well. Um, sometimes like now days like today, you've seen my stories. Mm. How many? Uh, I've been to like a million yeah, yeah. places. <laughs> you're busier than Obina. Honestly, literally, <laughs> yeah. I I do so much in a day. I re- literally do so much. So usually by some at some point in the day, it's like I'm I I need energy, but need I don't want to energy. eat. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So I'll have something like this, um, or sometimes now when I'm in the club, because you know I'm old. I'm uh, I'm 34, mm. so I can't just be in the club <laughs> past 10 p.m. I'm already just like yo, are wrap you doing this the club up. At 10? 10, you're supposed to be home showering, going yeah. to the club. Unless you're doing like after work, what? like an evening thing. Yeah, after work drinks, which goes night. into the night oh, okay. exactly. Yeah, okay, so like good. sometimes I'm just like, no, I need some Red Bull so that I'm not the the now I'm killing the party. Like guys, I want mm. to go home. Yeah. I'll have a Red Bull also. Yeah. Mm. You. Honestly, like I told you, palpitation. So I'm yeah. very selective with how I do my rebels. So I'll do maybe like once a month. Yeah, mm-hmm. But mostly, but, we, yeah. we're partying. Traveling. No, no, partying, no. Like if I'm, okay, let, I'll be honest, just when mm. I'm bored, I feel like, okay, I feel like I want to have a Red Bull. I haven't had a Red Bull in a long mm. time. I'll yeah. take. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You? Working late? Eh. Working late, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you never sleep that night. So. Oh I try. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, my kids keep me up. Oh, yeah. please. I'm just practicing. Ni, ni, ni. You know, the wicked have no sleep. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> Ask everyone here, I'm the nicest person. Oh, so you're the Ooh. nicest and the smartest. smartest. Yes. Wow, what singlet. is left for the rest of you? No, so uh, nothing. We'll, we'll still find out. Oh, this my. is not over. So we'll find out what more. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so when I'm working late, I think also like when I'm in high energy occasions, like mm. music, music festivals, and then I don't feel like like getting drunk. Yeah. Or like if I'm driving long distance. Yeah. Mm. All oh, right. So, yeah. That's a good one. That's, yeah, that's a good exactly. One. Yeah. yeah, but I think, um, yeah, for me, it would be definitely patting for me. Patting. Mm. Uh, vodka Red Bull is what uh, gives me the kick, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you are, yeah, to, rem- mostly like if you are to remove one ingredient... It was. <laughs> <Vodka Red Bull. laughs> so, I've never tried vodka uh, Red Bull. Mm-hmm. But if like, okay, for me, mm-hmm. uh, mostly for like the, the gigs I really like, which are mostly like house, mm. we go till morning. So vodka Red Bull gives me just the kick that I need. Yeah. Mm. Till morning, sometimes even <laughs> for a couple of days. So vodka Red Bull. Mm. Definitely when I'm working late, mm. um, road trips, I love doing road trips when I'm, mm. when I'm traveling. Mm. And eh, sometimes that afternoon, bro. You know, after lunch yes, and you have work that needs to be you, done, bro. Exactly. You sit down on a desk and you you're like, need. how will this work be done? <laughs> then I'm like, yeah. yeah. But mm. I think the good thing for me is just the option. The mm. idea of now you have an option. Exactly. You have the Red Bull, but then yeah. the energy drink, and then you have the sugar-free. Mm. Um, I think also that stands out for me the most. Exactly. Yeah, and this is available across all supermarkets, your mm. favorite clubs, yes, sir. events, whatnot. If you've never tried a Red Bull sugar-free, grab yourself. Um, yes, one in your nearest both. convenience store, supermarket, club, so or where. Now, come back to that, to that, it's how much I've Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. All yeah. right. So then, um, so yeah, my mommy now, 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 because now we're in content, so mm. it switches to Murugi. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so what, then how do you switch from now a profile that has always been connected to <clears throat> mother, a mother mm. to now being open to doing other content. Mm. Do you begin by making your own content so the brands can see? How do you reposition mm. is the question, actually. Actually, for me, it was just more like, just I just changed the name overnight. I literally just woke up one morning and I just changed the name to Murugimuni. And then in terms of like repositioning, I, I I don't feel like I was doing anything different, but already the perception that someone has when they come on your page and just yeah. see mommy um, versus when they come and just see Murugi as a person, that's changed everything. But I didn't really change anything about the way that I did my content. I just continued doing it, but I focused now on highlighting more of my life as opposed to like just motherhood and just talking about being a mom and yeah. whatnot. So I would like focus on things like my outfit and my hair and my, you know, anything that I'm going through, let's say my my cycle or whatever, anything that I'm doing. Okay. Um, yeah. And now the more you do that, obviously, the more the brands uh, are able to be like, oh, I can plug in there. I can plug in there. That's what I was telling you. Mm. Anything is an opportunity for a brand to be able to plug in. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. yeah. Is there a brand you wouldn't work with? Um, yeah, well, yeah, there are brands that I've worked with in the past that I would definitely would not work with again. Wow. And um, there are probably some, there are some which is like, I wouldn't work with them, but not by any bad blood. It's just like, it would not ever be believable. Yeah. For example, I use an iPhone and I'm always talking about how much I love Apple. I yeah. love iPhone. So I would not work yeah. with an Android yeah. uh, company, even if they paid me how much. It's just like, no one would believe that I'm actually yeah. using it because I love Apple. Mm. But if yeah. you tell them no one would believe and then they still want you. Yeah. Mm, no, I wouldn't. Okay. 
Because now I have to give up to n- ghetto. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but also, I, 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 I realized with the phone companies, mm. you can have a conversation of you can do their socials, mm. but you don't have to use the phone in real life. Because some of them just want visibility, maybe yeah. sales. Mm-hmm. Mm. But you see, for me, kind my whole brand, yeah, my whole brand mm. is built around authenticity and it's like, I am using it. Mm. So it's less like, oh, here, look, here it is. You use it. It's more about like, <laughs> oh, me, this is how it's helping me. This is how I'm using it. That's how I've built my brand. Okay. So it would not, I would didn't post about something that I myself would not mm. use because how am I telling you to go and do something when I I feel Don't like it's not the best. Yeah. So you've exactly. not influenced for his new restaurant that he's suggesting. What's in, your in restaurant? A... Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 I'm mm, suggesting. It's okay, bro. We, we support you. We support you. I'm not going to share you. Like, your man may use a son. Maybe. You can use a lunch love. Hey. That's where the money has come from. You see? You can't have one leg. <laughs> I still can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, um, so then, then uh, the, po- the podcast comes in. So TMI, shout out to Lydia as well. TMI, yeah. I remember. Chaksi alikuwa na uzaka kuna mtu. Um, Hana mtu by the way. Okay, Chaksi. Yeah. As of now, as of the point of this recording, let me. Because I don't know what the point. Yeah, we don't know by the point time this Nini is coming out. You can be the message. Muna Rudi, muna muna Rudi kura kwa doan. Next week, next week that's definitely record. Invite her to be a guest first of all. You see, then now. We'll invite her. We'll invite her. Great. Now you 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 episode muna mazi. Me, I'll be on the cameras. Shut up. So. <laughs> I'll be home. Now, what do I shout to Ongo? How has the podcast journey been for you guys? Oh, my God. It's been amazing. It's been just like the best thing ever. So, we've been running it for like three years now. It was yeah. three years in July. Um, Congratulations. And it's been, yeah. thank you. It's a big milestone, yeah. Yeah, it's been really, really great. You guys, uh, two. Two. Yeah. Two and yeah. some change. Two and oh, some change. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, we're like your moms. Okay, okay love me. Terrible too. Yeah, you know. No, it's been really, really great. The podcast podcast space is interesting in that it's kind of new-ish mm. in like the Kenyan space, in the African space. I feel like the the opportunities for like monetization are really high, but they are um, few and far between. So it like requires a lot more work, requires so much more um, investment because I don't know, when people see you guys recording, I don't know if they know how much effort it takes to actually yeah. record the money, CG Watch, the time, the effort. It's like it's not like these ones for at home of just like, oh, wow, guys, buy Red Bull, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> this one is like sitting and talking yeah. and planning and like, yeah. you know, oh my God, yeah, it's a lot. But it's been nice. It's been really, really fulfilling. We've done so much in those three years. We have an event coming up actually in like yeah. a week. 31st? I don't know. Yeah, 31st of August. E episode in Akuja, how to win? On uh, 31st. 31st. Oh. It's in the morning. Oh, great. Yeah, so fantastic. It's today. Our event is today. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that will be our third live experience event nice. and we are so excited about that. Yeah. yeah. So you guys were at NSK? Mm-hmm, yeah, we've one? been. Yeah. Our first one was Jaconi. It was like a small restaurant. I don't even know if it exists anymore. Yeah. Last no, time when in NSK. It didn't exist? Yeah. Oh, damn. There's a cafe there nowadays. Damn. Cafe something. Yeah, yeah I know. It's businesses in Nairobi. Mm. Today it's this, tomorrow it's that. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, yeah. please. Yeah, so this time we are at um, Shamba Cafe. Yeah. yeah. The event space. Nice event. Yeah, the it's event space. It's, yeah. it's really beautiful. Is it, you'll do the outdoor or the indoor? Both. Okay. Ooh. Nice. That's fire. Yeah, exactly. Expensive but worth it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think sometimes for those experiences, you just have to yeah. at this point, yeah. you, you don't even think about the money first. Honestly, Honestly you know, yeah. This is the product you're building. That's the You don't thing. even think and about the money. And the experience yeah. that you can... I think last time our profit was like 10K or something like that from everything. You guys are making like, profit. You, yeah. From the events. <laughs> and yeah, you are our man. Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> 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 you're 10K because some less just split between me and you to can you know, ice cream or something wow. like yeah. that. You know, yeah. That's but, nice at least breaking even and backing us. That's Exactly. Profit to need to kill a shot it's more community Our building. Yeah. Happiness, yeah, yeah, community building more than anything. Just to yeah, interact definitely. with guys yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're really looking forward to that. Yeah. Mm. How does it work for you guys? Because your pod is sort of uh, very topic specific. So mm. you, you guys discuss something specific on each recording. Yeah. For three years, is it a lot programming? Thinking about what to talk about next without maybe repeating stuff mm. or saying the same thing. Because not just is it to not get. Mm, like, yeah. cat, daily, she knows to not get. get. Actually, this is, yours is like true talent. Because <laughs> <laughs> how you can just say, 
Ate, ati, <laughs> click that thing then me anza tu kuongea. Ooh, I'm like what? I love for 10 minutes ni mangonga. No no. What the fuck? Even even Nancy texted me. It is so what what yeah. what will we be discussing on the pod? We'll be discussing. So I was like I have to call her now. So I called her I was like sasa sisi. One day to account the biggest thing. When she messaged me she's like oh they said they don't really have topics they just talk. I'm like what do you Please mean? Bro. Message him back and say what do you mean you just talk? I think our first like 30 episodes or so. Yeah. We used to have pre-production meetings that used to be more fire than the episode. So we used mm. to record on Mondays. Yeah. We used to have meetings on Sunday we FaceTime each other and sit down for an hour to plan the episode. Oh wow. And then we talk. It was not even planning. It was just to pick the different to, things to that happened in the week about yeah, what we think would be fun to talk mm. about. Yeah. But now you you, All the you fire don't stop at picking it. Yeah. You the start call. talking about it. Now you've yeah. talked, you've talked, 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 that would have been an episode. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, exactly. it hits us like we're like ile joke you listen majana. You say majana. Then you are like Yeah. Done. No yeah. more. From now on. Yeah, I get that. Be an hint to the camera. No, I guess okay, fine. I guess there's some there's a really nice magic like in this like yeah. dynamic that you guys have, but also maybe because you're three, maybe if you are two it would be different because you know two it's not it, like mm. there's like back and forth if you're not speaking I have to be speaking <laughs> if I'm not speaking like you need to be speaking we have a fair balance to be honest we do but for us I think we just we prefer the kind of structure of just like knowing this is what we're going to talk about and then also a lot of our content comes from like our audience mm. so they hear us talking about something like now let's say we've talked about panties and hygiene <laughs> then you'll see someone saying oh please could you do an episode specifically what, about what, vaginal I, hygiene mm. can you please do an episode about um you know contraception can you do an episode about like careers and being a woman in the workplace or something that so it's okay. like and we like for okay. you to be like structured that way so that people can always go back and refer now you see with you guys how will i know which episode you talked about <laughs> aunties <laughs> yeah even me if you ask me well, I know I don't know. Know. <laughs> no, no, no. And then you know our episode titles are also sometimes really crazy yeah i've seen them <laughs> hey i'm gonna say <laughs> Form. What are you guys? <laughs> But which is nice. You yeah. see, there's, and there's like an, an audience for that. There's a market yeah. for that for whatever it is that someone is creating online. For us, we just prefer to do it this way, also so that we can know we've already mm. talked about this. Sure. Now let's talk about this mm. exactly kind of thing. Yeah. And the story is issue, by the way, because sure. even in those episodes, we end up talking about other own things, like yeah. you know, yeah, own experiences. Sometimes we have guests. Um, I don't know how often do you guys have guests. Every week. You are every guest, single yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Every so. Sunday we drop a guest episode. Every mm. Sunday. Then every Wednesday it's, it's just, just the two of us. Yeah. So you and you're not to get. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's vibes. Yeah. Maybe us if we the day we start making like a, sh- a huge amount of money, maybe we'll be able to do two episodes a week. But yeah. oh my god, I'm really tired at the thought of that. Oh, no. You guys are hard workers. There's a day we do three. Yeah. There's a, some days we do three. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Una goda, una goda, una una. Baka una kodeka. There's a day chat After your day job, do four. four. I want to wait. Remember that day? When? 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 We unionize your thing, guys. My pamba no. What the fuck? Hey. I'm being a fool to jungle. What? Down yeah. down slavery, yeah, partner. And by the third one, I'm, you don't feel fine like you're already tired. I'm a mekula, I'm a mekunywa. What have you done? You feel tired after because yeah. when when you're recording, yeah. the energy is so good. Yeah. You don't realize yeah. how much time, sure. how, but how much time has passed. Yeah, it's when it is. You're now you falling asleep. Ah, you your that's house. when you need. So that's what you need, ah. Red Bull, sugar free. Pay me, guys. Pay me. I'm holding this thing together. I just kulipe to live. Please, yes. Thank you. I'll do that. Sawa. We'll definitely send. Something back. Yeah. Where, where can guys get tickets for today? <laughs> today, can and they what get? Time does the event begin? The event is starting at 2 p.m. So if you ah, okay. have not already bought a ticket, and if they are not sold out by the time now you're watching this, just come to Shamba Cafe and buy at the gate. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. Well, um, Or on Hassle Sasa. What's the capacity for Shamba Cafe? The event space? Um, it depends on what kind of setup you have. But for yeah. us, it's like about 600, 650. Okay. They're about. Mm. You'll do like the li- live recording in Dani because you can mm. control lighting. Exactly. And yeah. yeah. Then you have like experiential. Outside. We have experiential outside. So Photo outside, booth outside. It's limiting how many people you can have inside. Exactly. Yeah. And That's then also true. depending because as we've set up like theater, I'm hoping by this point we have already set up <laughs> theater style so that as many people as possible can fit inside mm. the, the mm. room. Yeah. Okay. You've been there? Uh, yeah, I love mm. I was actually there when two weeks ago or a week ago yeah, because mm. Raymond was filming something. Mm. Yeah. It's really, yeah. really beautiful. I love it. Nice. I just love Shama. So nice. I was yeah. there for like a wedding reception like the other day. Oh yeah. It was nice. I'm sure it was really cute. Was, they did, yeah, they done the whole And they have such nice furniture yeah. and yeah. stuff and it's very just, it's just it's very cute, very Shama cute. Shamba Cafe is yeah. ideally what I have in mind like for production space. Where you yeah. have outdoors, mm. you have the big space where you can produce a bunch of stuff, then yeah. you have the small studios, you know, like yeah. Yeah. Exactly. that is ideally what I have in mind. It's like, just, yeah. Production. And it doesn't look like it costs that much to set it up because it's mm. just like this big mabati, mabati, mabati thing, yeah. you know. Let me tell you, that red, like if that mabati was not red, that place would have looked 
look different. But it's the red right. just spices it up something. Yeah, it gives it does something. Yeah, it does like something. Small, small, small and that cut chicken up there, it's just like wow. I love it. Here. <laughs> As a lawyer, I feel at home when I go there. Mm. <laughs> you feel like charismatic. Definitely. Yeah. I just feel like here, yeah, my <laughs> people. You know? Thank you. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk uh, about your upbringing, Kidogo. Mm-hmm. Uh, first, did, uh, did you quit drinking completely? Yeah, I had quit at some point after yeah. having a really bad experience last year, but mm. now I um have returned. Yeah. But I would like to think. Well, I was back. Back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I had yeah. missed you guys. Yeah. I had really missed you guys. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like he's paying my rent. Economy is stable, but where are you going? He's <laughs> paying my rent, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, exactly, exactly. No, but I had I had a really bad experience with like something that I drank. You know, when you have those experiences where you're just like, I will I'm never, I, mean. I can never. So I was like sober for like maybe four months, four five months, and then now now I'm like in between where it's like. I would like to call it sober curious is mm. what it is so like I, I don't drink that often but when I do I make sure it's like kiddo go to mm. and like just enough for me to just feel good but not actually mm. I'm not falling down yeah. you know what yeah. do you drink normally? Um, ciders I like ciders because they're like yeah, eh. <laughs> so <but> curious. <laughs> yeah so please curious. Yeah, did yeah. you see that tweet for the baby who posted two ciders like I said Makaende Wapi. Then someone comes a kind of wapi. Yeah, yeah. Like, where? <laughs> to, to the loo, maybe. <laughs> no, two sides, because that's a perfect, that's perfect for like a night for me. Or like a glass of wine. Yeah. That's fine, but or something like that. Yeah, it's not kind of anything. To my pack. Maybe that's a new drinker, by the way, because to some people, by the way, yeah. ciders can be a 5% nini yeah. or an 8% cider. Bro. Yeah, that can be serious. Mm. It can't be serious. Mm. Maybe you know, I live in Dubai. But you know, I've seen Ruto, Ruto is is working on the, the higher your ABV, mm. the more you you're gonna be taxed. Yeah, see, that was in the finance bill. Like, well, like well, how is that something new with Ruto? Bro? Everything, so, any small excuse. Yeah. That's already like me. I did my calculations mm. because of you know finance bill. Mm. <laughs> and you <laughs> were like every bottle, regardless of the price. Like if if that was gonna pass. Every bottle would uh, that's forty percent ABV would have a tax of eight hundred to yeah. begin with. It was yeah, it was going to be a price. lot more expensive. So imagine wow. the yes. bottles that are five hundred bob. <laughs> and after that, taxes are eight so. Yeah, but see that the point was that they were trying to make it so that it's not like people can't um just like easily drink too much but alcohol. That's, that's, like, that's why people will go for the economy. That's bro. Why yeah. Exactly. Then people end up going for it. But illicit, as usual, so, now you create mm. a black market for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think that's the solution. Yeah. Mm. I mean just. Just give let guys be man. Guys yeah, are enjoy right. things. You know, because yeah. if your issue is illicit bruise, Pombe ingine niko well packaged at eight hundred bob. In England, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Make it even exactly. more affordable. Yeah. So now you don't people don't have to go for the cheaper illicit options. Yeah, but I don't know how these guys think. Anyway, mm. bara wanya yeso itaxi wako sa. So and church wanya na kuanga na A B. Bro, <laughs> it's usually <laughs> super high. Yeah. Yeah. And Korean liquor. Have you guys tried Korean liquor? No. no. Called, yeah, soju. It's called soju. soju yeah. Try it and you will never turn back. We it's just some, super some, expensive. Oh we my. tried some Chinese one that we mm. found at the supermarket that mm. was 450 bob for 500 ml. Mm. Everything was in Chinese, including the numbers of ABV. <laughs> so we said we won't Google Translate until we get to Nanyuki. Oh, and Lord. And then when we Google Translate, the ABV was 70%. <laughs> and the proof was 90%. <laughs> How did it taste, though? We did not remember. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it was not nice. The Korean liquor, by the way, it tastes so good. It's so, so That's, good. And it's, it's like, like sake. I'm a sake is yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like that. Yeah. Japanese. So this is like the Korean version. Nitamu. Nitamu, my gosh. Anyway, I'm not advocating for alcohol drinkers. Sober water. curiosity. Please. Sober curiosity, yeah. exactly. Guys. Me, 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 me. Drink better, not more. Yeah, drink mm. better, not more. Hydrate <laughs> <laughs> and eat before as well. Mm. You know, like, take care exactly. of yourself. Yeah. I feel like alcohol should be enjoyed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 See, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are 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 we because it's a balance. You can see a river. No, you can see a river. Like, your phone is dead, so you can't even look at Google Maps at my location. My location is. Hey. Yeah. Please. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. for um for oh, co-parenting, mm-hmm. is that like a 
professional way of doing it? Is it just as adults you sit down and agree what works for you guys? How, how does it work for you guys? So how I co-parent with my um baby dad, although I don't like to, I, the father of my the biological father of my child is how I like to refer to him as opposed to baby daddy. The word baby daddy just has, has a negative such connotation negative connotations. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a very respectful a uh, uh, partnership, um, I would yeah. say. Um he's he is married now and has two other children. I'm married now and have two other children. Um, and how we we distribute like our responsibilities is just basically 50-50. Mm. And we went through, we went the legal way. So you sign something called a parental responsibility agreement. And ah. yeah, basically what it has is like, it'll give you the details of how much child support he pays, how, who has custody, when he goes to his house, when he stays at my house, um, how we pay school fees, health insurance, just all the basics. Mm. So that there's no room for, at all, me, I don't feel like oh me, I've just decided to come and pick the child this time or whatever. Yeah, it's all set in the law and it's a legal document that we abide by. Yeah. So it makes it very easy for us. Oh, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, go for it. Mm. No, I'm curious. Like so, like for events like Easter, Christmas, how do you go about? So that? we do have half. So it's like if he spends Easter with um his dad's family, he'll spend Christmas with ah. us, and then maybe New Year's with his dad's family, mm. like that. We just do half half, yeah. and then okay. like school holidays, it's like fifty percent he'll be at his dad's place, fifty percent he'll be at our place. Okay. Mm. Mm. Have you guys ever tried tossing a coin? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, for kid months. <laughs> well, no. no, yeah. But now, you see, as yeah. he's gotten older, now it's like he also gets to choose. So, like, yeah. sometimes at his dad's house, fortunately or unfortunately, <laughs> there are two, he has two brothers there. Yeah. So, obviously, he likes being around his brothers yeah. a lot. At yeah. my house, he has two sisters. Yeah. Yeah. So, sometimes he'll just be like, he Men prefers to go that. there and it's just yeah. like, yeah, he can go. Watch out when he chooses a PS. Cindy, oh, yeah. I'm going to hang out on my boys. Yeah. Who can I go to the whole time? <laughs> at, at our place it's always like these girls they're just Barbie disturbing doll. the baby oh, dolls you know oh, yeah. so yeah. sometimes but he also has at our place he has a lot more friends mm. than there so sometimes mm. it's just like we balance and we see what it is that mm. he would like mm. um, and then but we, it's always kind of fair it's just mm. yeah and now where we've reached you see it's nice when you're co-parenting and you are kwa mtu mini kwa mtu there's no Wahala in between of me. like yeah. feelings and CG yeah. what and people are bitter or whatever mm. enough time has passed I think now it's been like we split up in 26 14. Hey, that's a long time. Yeah, so it's been 10 years. Yeah. Wow, 10 year anniversary of our breakup. How lovely. Simfane, <laughs> Simfane, <laughs> double date for anniversary of breakup. <laughs> that would never be fire. Yeah. But by the way, his partner gets along with me and nice. he gets along with exactly. my husband. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and it just, it works out because it's just like everyone is living their lives and we all love this kid. Mm. And that's yeah, it works it. out. Yeah. 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 Mm. My question is around the legal doc because I think we've seen online there's a lot of immaturity with co-parenting. Mm. I think what you to Zuruka, you start acting weird. Yeah. yeah. Feelings feelings are always very difficult. Obviously, yeah. if this is somebody who you people were sleeping in the same bed and looking at each other's private parts, it can be difficult to imagine that. Mm-hmm. Now they are exactly yeah. Yeah. just and obviously if, like, if one person, let's say, has moved on, this other person has not That's moved not, on. Yeah. So usually in the aftermath, it's usually very when it's fresh, it's mm-hmm. difficult. Yeah. Even for us at that time when it was fresh, it was there was still some feelings, and you know, it's just yeah, like sure. it's exactly yeah. there's a bit of bitterness and whatever. But over time, I think by the time we were signing the document, it was like one and a half to two years after mm-hmm. we had already split so it's like people's feelings had already relaxed mm. and everyone was now calmer and it's just like you have moved on me have moved on and now we can just yeah. talk about what's best for the child and then also have kids with people who are sensible you know it's just like obviously at some point maybe you don't know but like have kids with people who are sensible because I want to be able to have a discussion with someone who is just like you can see this doesn't make sense yeah. obviously you know it's like he's been at your place this weekend it makes sense for him to come to my place mm. the this next weekend, weekend yeah. kind of yeah. thing you know yeah. um, and for me luckily enough you know I thank God that he's a very reasonable, very sensible person and yeah. it works out, yeah. That's a blessing. Mm. Does the legal document provide for like, you know, like hard times? Like if I'm supposed to give you this much money mm. but then I'm going through, is that a discussion you guys have? So the document itself doesn't provide for that. The yeah. child support is the child support as it is. Yeah. Mm. But um, of now as you two, like ah, okay. he and I, it's like we are friends. So I understand yeah. if sometimes it's just like, I know he has other kids. So if it's like, oh, he's supposed to pay um, let's say fees and right now I'm a Lipia, the other two mm. and he's just like, okay, you pay for this month, let's do like a staggered, yeah. you pay this month, me next month when my mm. check comes in, I'll okay. be able to whatever, yeah. yeah. So if you're, if you're friends or you yeah. get along, it's easier. it's easier. Yeah, not every small thing is just like, no, I'm going to sue you. You're not yeah. going to see the child or whatever. I mean, no one needs that I think kind maturity of, is the... Is, maturity is really core. is, the, is yeah. the core thing, yeah. yeah. 
is really is the core thing. And this again, if the the older it is that you have the child, the better because when you're if you're 22 and you're trying to have conversations about uh, co-parenting, obviously mm. everybody's super emotional, yeah. Yeah. everybody feelings yeah. and what not. Sindio, nenda exam, unanyonyesha and you're having <laughs> conversations with your lawyer. Nakula yeah. smocha. Exactly. Hey. Mm. <laughs> hey. Yeah, Una you're thinking about your two year old you. I know. Chaxi, congratulate her. That, that shit is not easy. Well, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I respect that. I thank know. you. Thank you. Damn. Because you're going to get out of the capital. You hear yes. stories, Maka, you're like, I love you know, it's people who are standing in society. You know. So I don't know what just takes like. Some yeah, but you know, matters of the heart are very complex. True. Yeah. Matters of the heart are involved, extremely it's, complex. It's even, I feel like when a child is involved, it's even worse. Like, so, you know, you can see someone love someone else the way you wanted to be loved. Yeah. And it will trigger your deluluness. Mm. But then there's a whole human being involved who doesn't understand what's going on. Mm. I yeah. feel like it's, a, it's, it's too selfish to play the child as, mm. like, as your leverage. But you see also, you understand things just off of where you are. So for example, if mm. I've broken up with you because you are uh, an alcoholic or whatever, mm. but you're like, still you want the child to come and sleep over at your place. No. And I say no. Then you'll go to the internet and be like, you know, she didn't want me to see my child. But of course, me, how can I be sleeping at night knowing my kid has come sleep over at your place and mm. you're bringing women at all hours of the night? Mm. You see, because people are also human. I feel like all situations are um, complex yeah. and they're all unique. Yeah. Um, but it's always easier when, uh, at least when the law is involved, it makes things easier because then there's no ATO feelings and whatever. It just makes it easier. But some people, obviously, they can't afford to. By the way, you can go to places like FIDA, for women, you can go to places like FIDA. They give free legal advice and like support and things yeah. like that. And they can be able to help you get that kind of document. And then the, you can't now be saying you want this guy to give you child support, but you don't want him to see, see the, the child. child. That yeah, obviously cool. can't work. You know, it's just like if you, they are also involved financially, they need to be involved also physically. Yeah, and it can't be vice versa as well. You can't just be wanting to come and see your child all the time, but you're not sending any money for his upkeep. Yeah. It did not work that way. So how do you know mature women? We do like an aptitude test. These are these seventy questions before yeah. Zay. That is saying what only an aptitude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see. the problem is that maybe people are having um, children too early on in the relationship when you haven't really gotten to know someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't even think it's about that. Is it you not? Know, yeah. The people who've been together for so long and then someone they changes. have a child and then it's like not that like they unlock a new level and it's like, bro, where yeah. has this character been? Yeah, also parenting yeah. changes people, there by the go. way. Parenting changes people. Sometimes you see a whole different side of someone mm. when they become a parent yeah. and it's just like, wow. You know, where the, was the, this the, character? The people who weaponize it. Like, I, I've, I, I've seen stories of guys who get women pregnant to settle them down. Mm. What do you mean? Like, Mistake. You know, like you have a 27-year-old girlfriend, she's clubbing, mm. she's nini. You're like, oh damn, I don't want to lose her. So you get her pregnant so that... Shock on him. I'm not saying it's, it's, it's yeah, in the but club. I'm, I'm sure it happens. <laughs> and it happens reverse as well. Kuna pia madimu. Yeah, you're like, oh, let me trap him or whatever. Yeah. Can we normalize this, contraception? Yeah. Normalize, yeah. Normalize, yeah. Normalize, yeah. normalize condoms, normalize yeah. contraception. Yeah, normalize and, having the conversation. A, do you want kids? No. Can we go to the hospital? No. And figure out our risk factor. You know, like all those things. <laughs> Just get on birth control and shut your mouth. What's a man doing? No, no, no. By the way, no. Sorry, is the rules? No, no, no. Because I've heard stories about a babe gets on birth control on her own accord. Tells a guy, and this guy is like, "Apana." Toa, Miss Pendis, Dwee Nini. And she's dumb and enough to go and remove. Thank you. Just get it and shut your mouth. No, make up a waiting room. You're going to see it. 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 You're there. It's for you. Emotionally, Emma. Imagine. Yeah, no. Yeah. Get it and shut the hell up. No, Emotionally, I'm going to see it. Till you're ready. I'm going to see it. <laughs> Both men and women should take, if you want to have a kid, that's what's called family planning. Mm. Plan how you want to have a family. Fuck. So if you're not ready to have a child, also you have no business doing anything raw, obviously. Mm. You know, Kamu so you can't say, Kamu 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 exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not sure you Hey, yo. Do you know the way everybody's judging you? You know, I was watching the ultimatum South Africa. 
But it had so much you drama. See, you, you see what I'm telling you? you. Are, no, you I, 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 had, you? I had to for work. Trash so, TV is bomb, Chaxi. You so don't know. Yeah, we babe. love Trash TV. Ah, there was this babe was mad at her boyfriend. Mm. I, I think the show was like in March, April, look up. Yeah. They hadn't gotten intimate with the boyfriend since September the previous year. Mm. And they're in a relationship. Oh my. And then see now when they're swapping partners and trying to look for new names. So the boyfriend got... Not really all the way, but I think Ali Kisiwa Kisiwa na kagusa gusa na mwanam kemongine, and this babe was angry. <laughs> so me was asking like, was she the reason they were they were not having sex? See, I think Ali Kwa Meka ili ultimate ame ya if you're not gonna you know put a ring on it or be serious or do a rorasho, we ponizing the nyam. Down down. Yeah. Down, down, we ponize Okay, why do I mean? Mm, but mm. It, it's not fair, honestly. <laughs> ultimatums in relationships don't work. That's what it is. It, it, I don't so think ultimatums. Are... Flowers or baji? <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, I saw the episode where I was not in. We'll discuss that later. But mm. also, like, we could have been under four years. What do you mean? Flowers and baji. Flowers and baji. <laughs> no, but but four years and they're in a relationship. Yeah. Long. But Long one distance. is in Australia. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, and, and he's, right. he's 20, 20 years old. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you and Rono's no, reaction same. Change, imagine. 20 Man. years old now. Yeah. Four years. <laughs> four year long distance relationship. Prime dick years. <laughs> Bro, this is... <laughs> this is so unfortunate. So, I know. You know. I'm like... I'm so happy for him now, though. 20 to 20. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? No, but he was cheating oh in certain ways. Yeah. Okay, like what? Like, Micro, yeah, for, micro for, cheating. For, yeah. 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 Pekua, pekua. Four years, that's an exchange club. No, 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 no. Bad man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Four years, you know, is one year there's a little change. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. No, no one deserves that. Are you know, right? At 20. Pick dick years, remember. It's unfortunate. You're never going to last as long as you did 2022. Uh, anyway, point, the point we're making is be careful who you have kids with. Facts. That's what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. please. Absolutely. Aptitude yeah. test. Yeah. Condoms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two step authentication. Three. No, three step. Three step. Yeah. Three step. Yeah. 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 contraception, condoms, and you still pull out. Three step. Period. Three step, and you still get pregnant. That weapon. Yeah, is a war. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After three step, if you get pregnant, it's giving. Ah, it's Afro house. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Written in the stars <laughs> because <laughs> hey bro, you're too fat and you can get pregnant through phone <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I thank God for that. When I see by the women how women struggle to to get pregnant yeah. out here, I'm like that's a blessing. Honestly, yeah. thank God. Yeah, I agree. Mm, it's I agree. true. You can even get pregnant tomorrow today <laughs> 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 through phone sex. <laughs> if you make out too long, <laughs> <laughs> even kissing too long. Enough. <laughs> No, but really, uh, that's I, saw, I saw two it guys kissing different. at the club and they looked like they were in their 30s. Huh? Two guys? Two, no, two like men. a guy and a babe. Oh. So it was the gig we were at uh, recently. Hey, no, you, know, you, you have to be clear nowadays. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Like, like, two, two guys. Two guys. Yeah. block and trans. It's true, it's true. Anyway, but me, I was asking my friend, see, these guys go home. You know, if you're like 19, 20, I can tell maybe you live with your parents. I'm going to go to the bed. But these guys look like they're in their early 30s. And you know, it wasn't until like kissing at you, kissing your babe at the event, I love you, continue dancing. It was like full on make out against the wall. <laughs> and there was light. <laughs> and I was Good for them, so I was like, but I, I, you know, kind but of when you, when you take it home, now it's like, it's so official. Like, wow, here we are to <laughs> beat together. It was like no. three songs mm. and Afro House. <laughs> three, three songs. Three songs. Seven, ah! seven, seven minutes. I'm it's like, fine. so you go, yeah. like by now you could have been anywhere you live, like, unless you live in Lolongo. Nah, bro. Still, I, feel like, okay. I feel like some, utter, some matters are very urgent. That's we it. must handle yeah, them there. Yeah. Right now and then. Don't be a guy who procrastinates. Imagine. Procrastination so, is so not the best thing. Kissing that right? leads to nothing for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's it's okay. Nice. At least you kiss who for nothing. Kissing has to lead to something, though. It doesn't have to. It doesn't yeah. have to. There yeah. you go. But, but for 20 kid, minutes. Bro, you are just there dancing, sipping or whatever. Them, no, kissing. even you, you are like this for 20 minutes. <laughs> You're just watching <laughs> them. You're just watching them. I'm telling you, by the way. You're the way you are. I was going for my vodka red bull. You are enjoying really watching 20 minutes. You're just watching. Like also, you know, after COVID, so many people who are in their 30s moved back in with their parents. The economy has been tough. Yeah. So maybe when I she home, so or the club is the only place. Partners. Mm. 
Oh, that's another is that yeah. true? No, so but in the light, in a club. Just maybe they went to a club where they know their friends. Mm. Maybe they join the Afros. Or maybe they live somewhere in Embu. So exactly. like, ah, Nairobi is the safest to reach it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There could be many reasons. You never know. Yeah. Um, I think also something else I'd lo- I love to talk to you about is marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And the, the main reason is... Um, so in, in the society we live, we live now, yeah. um, I think the best, the best analogy would be uh, Kitambo, because me, me, I come from Ocha. Kiatu mm. I don't know even why cobblers exist anymore. Mm. But the society we live in now advocates... <laughs> you guys know why cobblers... I don't know why cobblers exist anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we live in a society where um, people are advocate for uh, squeezing more more divorce just replace mm. like ah this thing uh, this microphone has an issue Re- buy replace. another one mm. you know um, so for you um, we even with the, with the issues that you know you, you guys had with Zach mm-hmm. I want to know how hard it was to navigate that situation especially and especially for you media. why it was very essential for you work it out mm. um yeah because you know you you were you were very honest about what happened mm. no wait before mm. that mm. i think as we gradually get to that question i think first of all how is it handling a marriage on a social media space mm. yeah it's difficult <laughs> let me say it's difficult it's definitely difficult because um people will always have opinions people always want to say uh, different things for me this is the life that i chose i'm a content creator he isn't he works in corporate and he has a corporate job so for him it's obviously a lot more difficult to navigate he really does not like the limelight he doesn't like uh, you know being in front of the camera and stuff he does it sometimes for me because he loves me but um for him he doesn't necessarily enjoy that and i know that Whereas for me, it's like I've chosen this life. For him, it's just kind of like, it's this annoyance, but because he knows how much it means to me, he's yeah. just like, he's gonna, um, you know, he's just, he'll, he'll yeah. be okay with it, you know? Um, but obviously, like when we go places and you can see, let's say someone taking a picture of him or someone taking a picture of us or we are somewhere and um, fans interrupt us and whatever. For him, it's, it's, it's not as like, oh yeah, I mean, whatever. For him, it's just like, this is such an intrusion. Yeah. But ah. we've kind of um, he, he gotten used to it. Yeah, exactly. We just kind of gotten used to it. Yeah. Um, as for like navigating difficult situations and like working on our marriage, I would say um, it wasn't necessarily that it was essential for me to work on it. If it didn't work out, it would just also not work out, you know, kind of thing. It's not like at the everything now it's going to be like whatever happens, we must work on it, the shoe must be fixed. No, sometimes the shoe is broken beyond repair. For us, it wasn't broken beyond repair. Um, And I would say um, just like with any kind of things like you guys in Kikosana or if someone does something or whatever, it's like you just have to see this is what we have, this is what has happened. Is it something that worth fighting for? Mm-hmm. And if it is, then you're going to fight for it, you know, and it is, it's going to be something that you actually actively work on. And not that it must work out, but if you can't work on it and it works yeah. out, why not? Mm-hmm. And he and I love each other, we respect each other. Um, and there's obviously... I just like to say that so people who have slept in the same blanket and have had mm. children and whatever, you can never know what is the true story between the two of them. Yeah, and there's a lot about our story that we will never come out here and start saying, you know, I want to clarify that actually this is what happened and this is what happened or whatever. Mm-hmm. Something is just like you just let people say what they're going to say and then it's going to develop how it's going to develop and tomorrow again, somebody will have seven days of birthday gifts and the next day someone will yeah. fly somewhere and it'll just you will just move on from there, you know. Mm-hmm. And we never feel like we owe... Um, the, our audience necessarily an explanation about like this is why I worked on my marriage or this is why I didn't leave my husband or I didn't leave my wife or whatever as we're just doing us and if it is a point where we are now tired of working on it we'll also split up and you guys will be okay with it and if I marry someone else you'll also accept him and I'll also post him and you guys will also like the pictures life, Now, Maisha, it, it yeah, life, like, your life happen. can't stop yes you know, it's yeah that's life a, goes on yeah, some, sometimes and I, 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 I like what you said because also can you imagine putting yourself in a position where you mm. have to explain to random Constantly. people on the internet yeah. every single detail mm. about your life. Because mm. I feel like, even as much as people feel like you share a lot of stuff about yourself, yeah. it's whatever you want to share. Exactly. There's still so much yes. about you that you don't share. Yeah. There is a your lot. life is not yes. just what we see. You exactly, know. exactly. It would be that. weird 
if now because now I'm sure if you like you put yourself in that position I have to explain mm. eh, you'll explain eh, yeah, eh, you'll exactly. explain Wait, mm. online in-laws yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll explain <laughs> and, and people will always want to poke holes in like what you say and be like yeah but no over here you know when you had said this and then you whatever whatever yeah. Yeah, that's like if you want to dissect whatever story you've come up with let it be that one at it, yeah, did what? that's the one that's what happened and the that, people who yeah. are serious about it they get on calls and talk about one hour I, I'm um, sure yeah they'll always be exact and everything can based off of your own interpretation based off of what your own background what you've mm. been through you'll always interpret the situation differently there's many different ways of living let me say that people might not necessarily be able to appreciate and it's not up to me to come and now start explaining to people do you know other marriages look like this and these marriages look like this and mm. some people work it out and some people don't work it out and whatever everyone's marriage is different and everyone's marriage is their own business mm-hmm. yeah but i like i i mean me for me i appreciate the fact that people are so vested in me and my life and what not so i don't mind when people talk um but i'm not now going to be the one going to go start clarifying things for people, for people and saying at yeah. what no you need you don't understand no you just believe what the way you want to believe yeah. mm. Mm. what what would you say would be the most difficult thing about marriage because for me the thing that scares me the most is merging two families Mm, that's the easy part that's the easy part that's so easy yeah. Yeah. the most difficult part is like the daily compromising the daily like you know when you're married to someone they like live with you all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know say if you have a girlfriend nam kosane it can just be like you go to your house may go to your house by. imagine now to kosane you're still sleeping in the same bed they are still snoring here you know how annoying that can <laughs> be it's <laughs> so fucking <laughs> annoying mamka usiku nasikia mtu namasikia ama you see him sleeping peacefully oh my god so sing is in the air blakey yeah so it's the constantness of it yeah. just like with motherhood it's so constant like you wake up in the morning you're a wife and a mother from morning to night time when you sleep when you wake up it's still Again, there's no pause there's, there's, no there's no break there's <laughs> none you i mean you you can't, you can't always today i don't feel like being your mom just <laughs> yeah i just today I just feel like ne- call me murugi today it's relentless <laughs> and even if you say okay i'm going for a staycation stay by my, by yourself you're still, still you're thinking about them <laughs> you still know ni wewe umeacha house help umemlipa sg what what it is relentless there's no pause there's no stop it's just always happening that's the most difficult part honestly and sometimes you know how they say like don't lose yourself in it sometimes you can find yourself getting yeah. lost in it because you wake up in the morning okay there's this person there's this other person there's now this other person's needs you need to think, remember someone's there's birthday yourself. whatever there's yourself you need to go to the gym drink your water you need to go fight for finance bill you need to advertise red bull you need to do your hair you need to, it's a lot life is so much by the way Ooh. now when you add mom and wife in as a kwa nyingi sana so that i would say the most difficult part is just that that's the Yeah. constantness of it and there's no like yeah. pause you know and after all that ukio mejekelea tu kupumzika na uzo mom why is yellow not green my shoes she's wearing well. you know <laughs> i drew you i love the lollipop my shoes she's wearing well. <laughs> my shoes she's wearing is guka coming back we buried the pink 200000 for school fees you're like bro what are you doing they are still there say oh my god yeah let me tell you it's yeah oh Anyway, but God gives us the grace daily yeah. to be able to weather those storms and but we just we just keep going. We I'm just so keep happy going. That parenting is being documented on social media now. Yes. And not just even the bringing up and the you know the rosy mm. bits. Mm. Like there's this trend on TikTok where parents are, are, are using the gentle voice and the angry voice. You've inside it. voice. Inside voice. exactly. And kids being told return that mommy, return that mm-hmm. and she's like nah nah nah. And nah. Like, return it. <laughs> 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 good oh my god hey, hey. because your gentle parent to majaribu lakini kwanza the one who was hitting the mom with a pan at the back stop that mama <laughs> what do you mama mean? please stop ali <laughs> mama that pan is in the kitchen right, right now, now. <laughs> yeah let me tell you yeah. it's, it's not a joke me, it's not me, a joke me, like raising other people's kids Facts. because no, they're, they're returnable return. yeah. <laughs> but now by the time you guys have yours ours will be all grown up and we'll be just like see, advising see, you they'll be the baby so, liking your instagram so, pictures wow oh my god congratulations <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are you done done i'm done ma so i I, i simply can't mm. i just don't have the energy i don't have the energy for another one i love my three and in this economy can anyone afford more than three kids hey, i tell me i'm surprised you have three right <laughs> good for um, you uh, actually, three no i'm not a billionaire no this okay. one this one's enough They're okay yeah. but anyway never say never who knows the plans of the lord uh, the industry is still there yeah. 
Mumias sugar tafungulia somo moja. That's the key. That's the key. Yeah. Mumias ni kwetu by the way. Motherhood. Um there's one of the episodes where you guys are talking about like your childhood mm. and you had mentioned that you were raised most of your most of your time at home mm. and now that you become a mom what are some of the things that you are doing different in comparison to your childhood mm. as you were with your mom and now with your kids well actually my childhood the part the, the me not living at home that was a very short period actually okay. most of my childhood was like amazing okay. like i i loved my upbringing my dad struggled with alcoholism and has struggled with alcoholism for a long time but for the most part we grew up in a very beautiful loving environment i loved my home i loved we were um uh, relatively well to do so like we went to really good schools we had a really nice life mm-hmm. um so there's a lot actually that i've picked from my childhood that i've now brought into my home like having cultures and traditions that you guys mm-hmm. do like every sunday we go out for lunch you know small small things like that taking family holidays once a year or as often as we can afford to um making sure we eat together pray together um spend time together things like that and then of course now raising kids right now is not the same as before before our parents you, they could beat you from here to everywhere <laughs> right now you can go around beating kids yeah. no now we are gentle parenting as you said <laughs> now it's like explaining okay you're crying explain to me why you're crying you're feeling sad okay let it out you, you used to be told what I will give you a reason to cry mm. are you crying scared of Machozi yeah now yeah. and yeah. yeah. the good old nilikuleta kwa hivyo yeah naweza kuku yeah yeah that's yeah, no, we ain't doing that no more then kwa staple in every household now we are, we are acknowledging this is scared Machozi imagine and all you need you are just a child you don't like know I'm your sad, feelings bro. you're just sad let me cry. exactly so you let the child cry and then you just explain okay why are you crying why are you upset you see how even as an adult sometimes you just hormonal and yeah. you just feel sad i don't have a reason to feel sad i'm just yeah. sad yeah. you know even kids by they, they imagine how much of the world they don't understand like sure. it, they just don't get it every day i go to work but my child will still ask me why are you going and you know how to explain to her you know i need money i i can't be just like you know i i have to earn stuff and now red bull has called us yeah. and my check are waiting for they, she don't yeah. care her, all she knows is i want mommy here mommy is not here. here i she'll start crying you know so at least now at the age of parenting we are in now is like you got to be gentler of course there's like social media so they see a lot more than what yeah. we used to see yeah. you know you at uh, their age you're just scratching your bum and smelling your fingers <laughs> them hey! Yeah, yeah, right yeah, now yeah, they yeah, know yeah, yeah. yeah right now those Giving kids know so much I'm yeah. Austin Brandy and Mr. Whisker uh, yeah, yeah. Nah. now they are like on YouTube and what they can they're exposed to so much so it's like yeah. thinking about how do you protect them this AI now mm. how do you you know like make sure their future uh, mm. ready things like that technology mm. like it's just it's, it's a, a lot. lot it's a lot girl it's, it's such a, a weird lot. balance between how much you can expose them to and how much is dangerous for them exactly wow. and there's yeah. only so much you can limit because even if you say my house okay no one has a phone no one has a laptop mm. they'll go outside that's it they'll go there they'll go to school someone has a phone they'll go somewhere else and if you're not teaching them like okay this is how you protect yourself on the internet mm. don't send your pictures to a random person don't um give people your number you need to be now on the forefront of mm. actually teaching them what's out there you know yeah, yeah. parenting is is is, is a lot Okay. There's there, a lot. There, are there parenting moments where you see your kid you see your child do something and you're like yeah you are so talented. And I'm be a mom like let's try piano. <laughs> yeah. My kids my well, the younger two who one is six one is seven and one is four. Those ones anything they do I'll just like be like you are genius you are amazing. <laughs> I've never seen anyone oh. play the piano that amazing. Awesome. It's like Love yeah. It. Yeah right now you cuz you see Kina Serena Williams when they started even them of course yeah. they were bad so now you have to just upload everything mm. until eventually now it's just like okay now maybe let's try x <laughs> and y and z mm-hmm. less exactly <laughs> where my son has reached now he's 14 so mm. him at least you can see he knows like he enjoys this one he doesn't yeah. enjoy this mm. and what not things like that um but yeah no mostly mm. keep having kids is just about cheerleading them everything <laughs> everything they do you're mm. amazing you can do it yeah. keep going yeah mm. literally yeah <laughs> okay. on tiktok they're like please let's normalize telling kids boo Boring. <laughs> what you sucks what you doing sucks take your stupid drawing out of yeah. here but no you can't there's, there's this guy who makes 3, 3D renders of cars that kids draw oh my <laughs> it's the funniest thing <laughs> that i would love to see <laughs> with two wheel, one wheel here one wheel here hey, <laughs> like, another no. one has three wheels on one <laughs> <laughs> then, <What> uh, <laughs> no imagination 
Sure, this is really hiding your consumer. Hey guys, exactly. work with the kids. <laughs> it's you guys who are not seeing work the vision. Work with the kids. Parents, <laughs> <not seeing>. parents, <laughs> parents submit the drawings and then this any serious he gets on Blender 3D whatever. I love and that. And he designs the car. <laughs> and it looks uh, horrible and non-functional. <laughs> no, imagine this day and age they create something like that. It becomes an EFT. Yeah. They earn a million dollars in one day. Ooh. Right now, yeah. anything is money. That's anything true. can be money. Yeah. Hey, baby. You play. You know. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. So I, I want to take a few questions from Checkmates. Okay. Uh, but can I get two minutes? I have to return. Two okay. minutes. You we, know. Do we cut or we continue? I don't know. What, what do you guys want? Cut? Okay. We can do the questions then. Amma? Amma, you selected um, a few. Yeah, you guys can continue actually. What is the questions? I'm at chapter yeah. story to kikungoja tu. Eh, tunaweza kungoja yeah. tu. Tell us, tell us, tell us about that time you were arrested the second time. I literally I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was, I, I know it was a traffic offense, but I can't remember what the traffic offense was. I think it was yeah. something like obstruction or maybe I was using my phone or something like yeah. that. Yeah. One of those two things. Beauty privilege, Ekutwangi? No, it depends. You know, sometimes you can mean? get someone Mama who's like... Mama, who's just not happy. Women, first of all, they will never... Never. You know, Why me, are they so bad-hearted? I don't know. Me, my, all my know. cop interactions mm. have never been polite, but all my female cop interactions have even been less impolite. Like, oh, really? The two or three times Miss Mamisho and Mama Karao, mm. I don't know where the kiburi comes from. Like even one of them guys in the car with the rungu, like some fun, weird fun reason. Your... Yeah, and then the prettier you are, the angry you are. The, like the bigger your car, the bigger your car, it will just be like so. Where now, where you think that you? you I, I literally you haven't said straight. anything. Yeah, men, it's easy. Flirt two seconds. He's already like. <laughs> he let you go. <laughs> you never done the crying. And, oh, I've done crying as well. Yeah. <laughs> or, or playing yeah. That dumb. Yeah, yeah like, that one. Guys, if I find you evil. Yeah. Now, us as guys, Gonza, you can't do that. Don't even try it. Oh, yeah. You can't even try it. Don't. Me. Lately, Lately, what I've been doing is like, I'll just you? say, like, my husband works at Department of Defense and he has, like, a camera in the car. So I was just like, when I say, I'm going to camera. So. Me always decide. Just like, yeah, you decide. I always like, the, <laughs> no, sir, what you I always do? like it when they try to fiddle with the door to open and me, I'm just looking at them. <laughs> no, because like, I, I when you do it three times. Now, what's this queen here by first thing? Yeah. When did that even start? Now this is just a I think it, it has always of, been, but now really? people are like, oh, wait, I know my rights. Mm. Hmm. But now they get angrier. You refuse to let them in your car, they yeah. get angrier, don't Why they? Why are you entering my car? Me usually tell them, shut the key. I crack it open, kidogo, so that we can communicate. Mm. I'm like a wingy. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm like, I reserve the right for you to enter my vehicle. No, it's my right to enter your vehicle. It's then I'm like, okay, you wanted to see my license. I don't have it, but I have the digital one. It is. Mm. Insurance. Why do you want to enter my car? Yeah. Okay, it's depends. You see also, if, you, if I'm in the wrong, I have a posture yeah. of humility. Mm. You have to have a posture of humility. When you know you're done, you cross the traffic yeah. light. You but see. now when you start wanting to get in my car, now humility for me is like, yeah. out of the window. Posture for humility is nice. Me, I've ever been caught like overtaking on a yellow line because you know sometimes you just drive. Yeah, and it's slow. just like. Oh, you know, some sometimes, top of 40 you and know, you took yeah. Like, Come, let's go. <laughs> and then it's, like, it's a, as in, let's go. Yeah. And then in a funny yeah. TV, there's no car you do. Do, 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 oh, and sometimes they're always watching particular <laughs> places they know. Yeah. Maybe Lazy. then they told that driver drive slow. What exactly. Is this roundabout? Yeah, City Mochari, I live near there. That's, that's roundabout for Daystar, University, mm. whatever. They are always waiting, waiting for people for to someone just... There. And then there are yeah. traffic lights at the entrance of the roundabout and then with inside in the, the roundabout. roundabout. Yeah. So this one can be green and that one is red. Exactly. No, okay, so they are waiting to just see you cross that the place where they usually have cops on all four exits? Yes. That's the one. That's the one. And they yeah. know. That one, they make so much money, I'm sure, in a day. Mm. Oh, my God. They make Me, so I was much given money. a hack by my dad. I was told, if you ever caught the traffic offense and you're guilty, mm. just try to talk yourself out of it. Ikikata, accept it, and then just say, book me. They'll never book you. What if they do? They never. I've, it ha- it's happened to me twice. One, speeding, now two, making an illegal U-turn. And then I was like, South San, Mekubali, Makusangu, Nikuwa, Naraka. So my letter to Kidoga was like, me, my religion does not allow me to give bribes. <laughs> It's so nice to you I know, right? You know, and he tells me like, <laughs> And then, do they take she, you? So they, they, the, the last time, they kept me there for like 10 minutes. Luckily, I had time. I wasn't going anywhere. Mm-hmm. So I'm still jumping to my music, making my phone calls. Nini. But you just look guilty. What do you mean? I don't know. There's just something about me. <laughs> and there's just something about you. Like, hey, what's up? Mm-mm. I'm so sorry. What's up? 
<laughs> Your WhatsApp in Kenya and Cobs. Yeah, no, for speeding, for speeding I am because I drive really fast. Yeah. So there's a time I was stopped. I was driving like let's say at 140, allegedly. Mm. And then <laughs> the, the the speed they show me on the thing was 111. And the speed mm. limit was 100. Mm. So I was like, there's no you guys have a speed gun. Because if you had a speed gun, you would know it was 140. I was at 140 and I was coming back to go for rally from a funeral. So my dad told me just accept. And every time I've said son, Mekubali Makosa. The time they called another car, I was like, at you at Engeko, Gariakul ticket to the station. I was like, no, I want to be escorted. No one enters my car. They brought an Sasole Karao, the brown plain clothes. Mm-hmm. Now you play the ego game with them. And then, so now when he comes, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I know you're very senior. I'm so sorry your juniors had to bring you in. But there's no way I could give them a bribe. And I'm sure if this was handled correctly, you'd be doing more important things. But looks like you're the one guiding me to the station. Oh, wow. Mind games. After they look at you. I see what you did. But he still said, like, Duende. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was so You're mad. Done. But then I'm driving behind him, and then he's, uh, he takes a right, I take a right, take a left, take a left. And then we got to almost State House Road. Mm. And then see, now when you go this way, it's the, the Milimani police. Yeah. Yes. And then now he's going, like, he's just going. I'm like, see, this is the no, closest. This is the way, station. yeah. He's like, no, we're going to Ngong Road Police. I'm like, Ngong Road Police, and we're going procession all the way. Mm. What is wrong that with you? That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. So he said that he. Luckily, I was going to my dermatologist, Apo Upper Hill Medical Center. And then, Kasama, me, Konza, me, I'm going to hospital. So mm-hmm. I just want to finish this. Yeah, to hospital. And then he was like, Nini, if I hospital in Kambia, don't even stress me with what's going on there. Because that's my bigger issue. I can use a mepotism to Nikambia, it's a Nipunguzia Hongo. This guy just tapped hey, my I car. Talk and a, said, wow. Oh my God. Wow. I just got into that car. I was like, this is mother. If she was, if it was a woman, I don't think you would have worked. Oh, hey, they, see, they, the woman is the one who arrested care. me. The oh, woman is the one who stopped me. Jumped out of the bush with an AK for the <laughs> <laughs> I said, freeze. You know that place? <laughs> you guys know that place for pros- <laughs> I'm not even making this up. You know that place for processional way yeah. where it's, it's a one way? Mm. But people oh don't know. So you God. just see cars joining, but it's a dual <laughs> nini. Right. So I think yeah. hey, there's traffic here. Let me nyonga here and be on I say nyonga. And then I just see like, hey, <laughs> commando rest. And they know. <laughs> From the bush with an AK, bro. Ali wow. you know how they hung it at the back, brought it to the front. That's mad bananas. And then just started doing this. Where can Oh, God. I'm like, where That's can so there's dramatic. a pavement? Yeah. So, and then they come. It was COVID time. It was peak COVID time. It oh, was like God. when you had daily updates on mm, the news. Yeah. I cracked my window a bit. It was like maybe two inches. I wear my mask. I'm alone in the castle. I'm not wearing a mask. And then she, I wear my mask and then I tell her, please, madam, could you go to the other side of the car? We mm. speak from there so that we can social this distance. Sense, yeah. She got angrier. Of course. And then she was like, Nini mana? and I was like, me, I'm going to hospital because I think I have it. Do you want to catch it? Oh. <laughs> She's on card. <laughs> me, I'm going for dermatology. <laughs> so she goes there and then she starts shouting and gee, what and what. Of course, license and everything. Me always have my screenshot, so I'm just showing Showing insurance, mm. look at it there, everything is fine. When the insurance had paid the same exact day. And then she still wants money. So I was like, I'm not giving any money. So she calls another male cop who comes, wants money. So they're playing good cop, bad cop. So the right. male cop comes, like I mm. say, Oh my mm. God. I'm no. like, his strategy genuinely weak. The patriarchy is, yeah. is alive and well. <laughs> no. And then oh, even gosh. him, when he came here, I was like, hey, Connie, I'm morning news. <laughs> six meters. I mean, <laughs> I mean six feet. I mean, to go. six feet. Yes. <laughs> to six yeah, feet. Yeah, they go to the other mm. side. They go. Ah, I still once. And then I asked them, Sasa, you hungry? No, how much? Because you know me, I've never removed a bribe in my life. Because my sister, badala like twelve, from billion, matter twelve, twelve. Did you just say you know what he means. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just can't direct and sleep. See, I'm removing my bananas. Mm. Sorry. Jeez. Yeah, so long story short, yeah. I wasn't arrested. But, so if you agree to the crime, because they need to go take you to, as long as it's not serious. Mm. If it's just overtaking you, turns to these small things, running a red light, you haven't hit anyone. Just mm. accept. Because they have to take you, do the paperwork, present you in court, and as the arresting officer, they have to be in court. Mm. For them to be in right. court that whole day, they're not on That's the streets. Time, They've yeah. lost money. So they'll zungusha you and then they'll frustrate you. And then, of course, someone else will do something stupid. Exactly. So and then now... As long as you don't give them your DL or your keys. Okay, so what I've learned from this story is you have to be a smooth talker. You have to know the things yeah. to say, yeah. yeah. And if you're not, just cry and then hope for the do best. You. As a yeah. me as a man, I can't cry. You can. To a, to a man cop. Mm. Yeah, it's exactly. Such two and a D plus. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the empath? <laughs> You never know. Probably they've never experienced it. A man ah, crying. Yeah. I never knew that. Nani amekufa. 
<laughs> Mimi sponia chilia. Exactly. Literally. Exactly. 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 So, okay. Like, okay, so, okay, okay, what are the next steps? Ah, yeah. but, and, and then pretend to make a phone call to our kids. Yeah, so, yeah, please, uh, please, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what if they don't call? The, what if they call the bluff and they just it's okay, actually you take you? You go. And then you take your chances with the judge. Oh, bloody hell. Judges forgive I'll all these small things. It. I'm like, madam, I drive a demi and you're asking me for that. Honestly, please. <laughs> please. That's why when I overtake the range drop. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Why do you look stressed? Girl, Nico driving school. He's in driving school now. How's that going, baby? Are the um, cars okay? Monday, <laughs> so, okay, because this week I haven't been outside. Mm. So, Monday's only day I've managed to go to class. So, at mm. least this time I actually got to drive. Okay, actually, I didn't drive. Let me be honest. So, I did my necessary in Kafunga Belt. So, this guy's like um 20. So, I'm waiting to... F1, because is like, yo, calm down. I'm like, eh, okay, sorry, boss. It's like, you just put like your foot, just re- rest it. Yeah. On the, rest it. I'm okay. like, fine. Mm. So he's like, he's on the brake on the other side. Oh, yeah, this man right. kept doing everything for me. Oh. Cut a left, cut a left. Cut a left. <laughs> <laughs> why you cut a No, <laughs> why you cut a I'm like, I'm like, okay. Okay, at some point, I did this. I was like, you know, you know. Let me tell Mariah. In the car, in the car, your phone is the one. Your phone is the one that's supposed to be hands free, not you. Yeah. Actually, you did this. Yeah. Like, like sir, we were with another. Maka, she laughed because I'm just like, women have been cut left, bro. Oh, baby, you're not cutting fast nah, enough for cut. me. My do they still have those? Me. Do they also have their pedals? Yeah, right? no, he has, he has the brake. Mm-hmm. So me, I have. All the proper well, we stuff. To so now mine <laughs> is just on the accelerator. So we are going. Hey. Aya, kanyaga kidogo, kanyaga kidogo, kanyaga kidogo, Ivo. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Have you just started driving school? Yeah. Okay. All the yeah, best. Wow. Let me yeah, tell you, when, when you start driving nicely, you'll realize how easy it is. I know. So effortlessly. Me, the number of times I zone out on the road. And then you wonder, how did they get here, baby? <laughs> <laughs> As in, I'm just like, <laughs> today, I'm the time, to I'm like, Benson, I've jammed. <laughs> I honestly can't wait to finish, but <laughs> yes. yeah, that was okay. my day one. Don't drop out. It's just two weeks. No, no, no she drop out. Yeah. See, eh, Mother Nature has shown me things. Mm. So Pole. I've been mm. on chill mood. Don't no, we'll get sweetie. pregnant. <laughs> It will stop it for nine months. Or so? There are people by there who have their period throughout, throughout yeah, their pregnancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. So. Been rolling. Okay. Just like oh. her. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we start? Mm-hmm. All right. So, Bran, ED wants to know, does she believe there's always a catch for anything good that happens in life? If yes, then what is her great, greatest blessing and what was the catch? Hmm. If she doesn't believe, sorry, me, she's a goof. I like that question. To know next. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think there's always a catch with anything good that happens. First of all, if you think that, then you can't believe in God because mm. you may believe in the Bible and it's just like God wants great things for us. Yeah. Sometimes good things just happen and it's just good things and it's just like great, great, great. And sometimes bad things just happen yeah. even to really great people and there's no, sometimes there's no design to it. It's not even at like karma or whatever. Sometimes you're a shit person but amazing things happen to you and sometimes you're an amazing person and horrible things happen to you. Mm. So yeah. sometimes you just take the blessing that you've gotten, you just appreciate that blessing. When something bad happens, it's also part of life. You appreciate you that appreciate one. Yes, too. exactly. Yeah. But one thing I believe is that no one has it all good or all Bad, bad. bad. This yeah. is the thing. And sometimes I feel like when people look at people's lives online, they're just like, my God, you're so lucky. You have, you have this, this and this and this and this. But there's always some other thing that people are not necessarily yeah. seeing because yeah. it's not like when you're crying or when you're sad at home or when you're in pain, you're always taking up the camera to be like, I'm just so, so sad. Mm. Post. You know, people don't see those other elements. So even to all those, the people who you see and you envy and you're just like, oh my God, I, I really mean. want their life. You only want the part of their life that oh, you yeah, see. Beautiful. You mm. don't want their actual life because because maybe if you saw all that is actually happening with them, you might not want Twice. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I saw someone said, someone tweeted that he, M1 died peacefully in his sleep at nine, in his 90s. Rich as fuck. So oh, karma wow. doesn't exist. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Who knows? And even with him, we don't know. You see, no, we, were, we were not with him at the end, so we don't yeah. know. Was, yeah. he, was yeah. he actually peaceful? 
were there demons haunting him <laughs> or what yeah. he had done? We don't know. You yeah. never know. Yeah, yeah. he sits with himself what was going on. Exactly. True, true. You cannot know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shikumungai, why doesn't she shower and flush the loo at night? Isn't, isn't a biagani murugi? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I posted. I posted. Oh my God. <laughs> But there's a lot of those <laughs> questions. <laughs> so I posted on our podcast. I said that when I go to the loo at night and my kids are asleep, I'm not going to flush the toilet because it'll wake them up. And like my youngest child, who is four, she's a, she's a light sleeper. So am I going to just risk this little amount of pee so, and this child staying awake for an hour? I'm not. I'm sorry. So the people who ask those questions, clearly you're not a uh, mother and if you are then you would understand otherwise that means you want me in the middle of the night i go downstairs all the way downstairs uh, to oh, use so, the toilet so and guys come avoided up. the context yeah exactly you see that's the thing with social media things hardly ever have context they'll just uh, take this headline yeah, and this that's is, just what it's it a better headline <laughs> because when you're really like that you're it like, does yeah. make sense exactly <laughs> i'm like what is it is this it a king like <laughs> you know like, yeah, king. You, Because I'm mean, like, you don't comprehend it, you know, like, why? Me, I was curious because it's like showering, flashing the loo, let's go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that headline just makes nice, yeah. that sounds nice, but like, guys, let's be, let's be serious. I'm not yeah. waking my kids up so that you guys can be happy that my toilet was clean. Not I'm kuji kui safisha. Maybe you'll we'll get a deal with some noise cancelling headphones for the kids. Mm. Thank you. You see, yeah, anything. Plans. And then your you context will just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Or me showering. How fantastic. <laughs> Great. Lovely. Uh, The one I think on early marriage, mm. uh, we've, we discussed that, would, that yeah. in length. Mm. Uh, then uh, let me pick the next one. At Han- Hannington Kavagi. <laughs> hey, Hannington had so many questions. Hey. I feel like we'll just pick. Because <laughs> why all these <laughs> questions? <laughs> this are like an oh my know. God. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'll forward this to you. Oh if some God. of them make sense for your pod as yeah. discussion points. Because yeah. this it's is a lot. Yeah. So let's pick pick a number. I mean, a number. Pick a random number. Six. 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 Let's no. do th- let's do three. Hey. Wait, I'll pick a five, then I can't say again. Hey, both. Like, the There's first one, set has five, and then, then another, the second The sweet spot is three. Three. So re- mm-hmm. let's read three. Mm-hmm. What challenges have you faced in balancing the commercial aspects of a personal brand with mm-hmm. maintaining authenticity? I think we discussed. We discussed. We discussed. Yeah. 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 and why you can't work yeah. with any exactly. Yeah. Mm. Six. 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 Are you cool? I'm yeah. five, number one. Number You're one. number one. Do you feel number one? Number one. Number one. Number one. Yeah. What was the most significant mindset uh, shift mm. you had to make when transitioning from co- corporate life to becoming a full-time content creator and entrepreneur? Ooh, wow. Okay. One was um, having a schedule, like scheduling myself. Because mm-hmm. when you incorporate, you know, you wake up, you have to be at the office by eight. You mm-hmm. are leaving at five. So for sure, you're going to do work because you're there. When now you transition to like, you're just a content creator. By the way, the whole day can go and you've not even done anything. <laughs> mm-hmm. It can just be like, I mean, it, like I know in my head, for example, I need to put a Red Bull reel next week. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I, who has said when I'm going to shoot it? Who has said when oh, I'm okay. going to whatever edit it and whatever, send it for approval or things like that? I have to... To like plan myself so that mm. the biggest mindset shift for me was like that one of having to um like schedule my days especially when my kids are in school the whole day it's just one long stretch and sometimes mm. I can just be like I'm lazy today I'm not gonna do much other days I'll be like okay I've woken up I've gone to the gym I have a shoot I have x and y and z but when I don't have a shoot it's literally like ni mimi kujipanga mm-hmm. that's the first thing and then the second thing is obviously I needed a mindset shift around money and how I <clears> use money and how I um Uh, plan my money because obviously it's not at the end of the month that you're getting paid. You know, as creatives, it's like you could be paid on the first. You know, you're paid days. on the first. Another time, another payment is on the 18th. Then maybe you don't see a payment for three months, and then you get like a huge amount of money. On the time you have to buy state house, you know, suppliers order, bam, everything exactly. And then sometimes yeah. God plans it like that that they all come all together. <laughs> then other times you don't have, you know, as much or whatever. So learning just how to plan your yeah. finances around that. Um, Um, unpredictability mm. is also, you know, a thing to consider. And then obviously, like, towards the beginning of the year, you'll tend to not have as many clients. Or let me say, I don't have as many clients usually at the beginning of the year. A lot of people are still, like, getting their financial year started and mm. things like that. But quarter four is usually super busy. Mm. So you earn a lot of money in quarter four. And then that takes you now, like, mm. even in the months where maybe, like, the clients are not as many and things like that. So that planning money is was, like, an essential mindset shift for me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, would you consider salaring yourself? Um no. you have a husband. Yeah. yeah. But also yeah. all the money is mine. Oh, my man. No, it's because you don't <laughs> you also, like you're not worried about rent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are supporting yourselves financially. Yeah. 
Imagine as much in a kid. <laughs> okay, let, let me say South 50, let me say sixty percent of the time. For right. Me. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, you're even supporting. <laughs> 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 You're even supporting others. We are sending to care agent. Nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, no. But for me, all the money uh, I earn is mine, with the exception of like what I pay my assistant. Yeah. Um. So I mean, everything else just comes directly to me. So technically, that's my salary, I yeah, guess. I would yeah. say. But now, if you if you're asking about like I, take, I keep it somewhere, then only give myself a certain amount. Mm. Mm, no, not really. Now, at this point where I've reached in my career right now, I earn enough regularly enough that I never feel like there's a gap ah, in okay. my earning. Mm. But maybe earlier on, I would have considered that. But now, mm, and her life is no longer just. By, you're not by yourself. You know, yeah. you have a family, mm-hmm. you have kids. Things you have, are different. Yeah, things are different. Definitely. Sure. Yeah. 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 At Erega Aquam, Aquam, ask her what her values in life are and why, and what life experience made her realize why she should hold those values. Lastly, which are the most important values that she thinks are important for her that she would instill in her own kids? It's around values. Your checkmates are always that deep. Kuna ingine ni wanoma. Nakuna wale watu muliza na kula anamalizanga chapati kama. Au na majority. Na tuata ata Obama kujua apa ata uliza chapati. Video. What values? Okay, I feel like that's a deep question that I would need to sleep on and like think about. But um, the ones that come to mind automatically is just like is being true to self mm-hmm. that's something that is like really 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 important to me and i feel like it's one of the things that have allowed me to get to where i am today mm-hmm. is i feel like i don't ever do anything that feels like i'm betraying myself mm-hmm. if it's something i don't like i'm just not going to like it and i'm going to say that i don't like it if it's mm-hmm. something i don't want to do i will say that i don't want to do it if it's something that i've changed my mind about and i give myself permission to change my mind mm-hmm. however mm-hmm. often if i can say today i like white cups tomorrow i've decided i like black and that's now what murugia said that she wants mm-hmm. i allow myself to just be whatever it is that i'm feeling and i i feel is true to me in that moment that's something that's really essential to me um integrity authenticity mm-hmm. honesty i would say mm-hmm. um and um bold living i don't know if that's a value necessarily but i feel like uh one thing i would want my kids to get from how i live my life is just like bold living not being um not allowing the world or like your fears or whatever to stop you from just living the life that you want to live because so many people end up living like half lives and not being making as much money as they should or doing as much as they can or having as much impact because they are scared of what people will say they are scared of how people will judge them they are nervous about you know will it work out will it not work out what if I'm a failure what if this me I just live and the way things will go is the way things will go yeah. leave yeah. it to yeah um hannington wants to know He says it's kind of personal. Mm. Um have you ever struggled with any toxic addiction? Um yeah, well yes, nicotine addiction. I've spoken about mm. this before on my platform. I was addicted to vape for like a year and a half. In fact, I only stopped was it last year? Was it last year? But I think it was like last year. Last year maybe like around August. I'm coming up on maybe like about one year now. Hey, but yeah, I don't know if I would say I struggled with it as such because I hadn't done it for that long, but I think I had been vaping for like um two years. Mm. But I would say also I struggled with it because anything which you find that you've tried to stop and you can't stop, yeah. that's definitely already an addiction. And stopping it was difficult. My God, if anyone has ever tried stopping nicotine, I applaud you. It was difficult. It was like a month of really bad withdrawals mm. and like sweating. You can't sleep. So you what? You're having nightmares. You're just like, oh, it was horrible. Um, but yeah, that was my only. That has been my only thing that I've struggled with. And after that experience, I'm like, guy, I need yeah, to be but, careful. Yeah. You know, addiction by the way is genetic. Mm-hmm. So if you have a parent who struggles with addiction, ch- chances are you, you know, will also possible. struggle with it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But not, not necessarily the same things same that thing, they struggle. Yeah. Not necessarily, with. but okay. just having that addictive personality. You know, the people who just have ad- personalities where it's just like you tend to you like something, you overfixate on it, yeah. you really, really like it, and then mm-hmm. it's like it becomes central to who you are and how you live as a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's that runs in families. Okay. Yeah. If you are to write a book tomorrow, what would the title be? Kiss my fat ass. Yeah. Hey. 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 That's, that's what. That's what. With a PH. Thank you. <laughs> with a PH and F. F. With an F. <laughs> with an F. Yes. Yeah. And to be, it will just be about like living unapologetically mm. and boldly yeah. and confidently yeah. and just like doing whatever the fuck I want, regardless mm. of what people would, would say. Would the ass be censored with asterisks? Mm. Mm. Why? No, censored? Why? See, I'm just asking. Uh. Because, you know, <laughs> because they they can display it in bookshops. Oh right, yeah. You know what I mean? Ah, it's so fine. Children are but, but guys guys who read books already know what the ass is. Why you why it's you are no, swear words like the satellite of Oh the yeah, like why, 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 like why men yeah. love bitches. Fuck is definitely I, a swear I, word. That's yeah. definitely a, a swear word yeah. though. Is ass a swear word? Depends on the region. 
the British ass is a swear word. Ile A R S E. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah. yeah. What an ass. Yeah, you're okay. right. Mm. A copy wants to know what's the best uh, lesson she can give to someone who's starting over at early 20s. Starting over. Mm. You're just 20s. starting. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mori. Just don't do what we do. Don't do what we do. How many? Hey, Mori is a query. Hey, Boa Kujia Karibi. Starting over. Starting yeah. over. Yeah. See, Mori is starting over at 20. But uh, over where? Yeah. <laughs> what are, what are you have under? Con- it doesn't have context. It doesn't have context. I'm assuming could be like... the question is maybe sasa and I'm just beginning my adult. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. 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 Um, I guess one piece of advice I would tell them is, and this is something my mom used to tell us all the time, is like, you go places and you hear them saying life is short, but I would say actually life is long. Life is 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 really long. Mm-hmm. And where you are at whatever point, it just, it feels like this is where you'll always be, but you won't always be mm-hmm. there. And um, my mom used to like to tell us, play the tape till the end. Whatever, whatever decisions you're making right now, think about this same decision. How will it have impacted me? 20, 10 years from now or whatever, you know, like you're on the road to where you're going. So whatever it is you're doing now is setting you up for what yeah. where you're going to be now when you're 25 and now when you're 30 and whatnot. So think about that long term. But also early 20s is just like, Nobody knows what the hell they are doing in their early twenties. Twenties, twenties, Yeah, <laughs> people not in their early twenties knows what what they are doing. One just yeah. needs to just like trust their journey. Know that you're not. There's nothing weird about the fact that you don't know where you're going mm. or you're starting over or like you know you you don't know what to study or who to be with or whatever. Just relax and okay. things are going to work yeah. themselves out. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, they don't. But G- 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 it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah, G- yeah. G- yeah. At Buyanzi wants to know. I, you, you got a BBL? No, so I, I, I had like Oh, <laughs> so that's what, what I was the question. Oh, so the whole BBL process from surgery to recovery and maintaining it. Like I think you've covered that. Yo, so sir, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just tell them now, go follow my page because that's a lot. That's like a whole podcast episode. Talking about cosmetic surgery is a whole uh, podcast episode. But what I would tell them is if you want cosmetic surgery and you can afford it, go and do it. Yeah, Yeah, literally, go and do it. Before we proceed, Mm. Ozempic, you've been very vocal about it. Mm. Please tell me, what's that journey like? So it's not really Ozempic, I would say it's semaglutide, which is like the compound version of what Ozempic mm. is. Um, but basically what it is, is it's an injectable weight loss drug that helps you um, limit your portions and helps you fix your relationship with food. Okay. Um, and the journey has been amazing. I've lost like 20 kgs this year mm. alone. Hey, yeah, I started this year very, very much, much heavier. Yeah, um, and it's been, yeah, it's been really, really good. I would say for people who are struggling to lose weight or they need help in um, like, you know, just being able to like eat well, mm. you know, and work out and things like that and having a good relationship with food, they should definitely try it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Then at <laughs> at Lelato, mm. please ask her to speak Kiswahili for 30 minutes straight. Jeez. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> that episode was funny. Yeah. yeah. People that, will drag me first of all. They'll be like, oh my God, do you think you're like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Wait, is it that you can't speak Swahili? I can. I can. It's just that, yeah. <laughs> they they I can. They will speak with Chaksi. Just please do it together. That's what I'm going Ah, uh, 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 Oh, I don't know when was coming home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that but that would be <laughs> Oh, you, you like you can't speak it fluently? I can I can speak it fluently. She I can do it whatever it's just that. But Swahili or Sheng? Swahili. Swahili, not Sheng. Just All these bitches is my sons. <laughs> I speak Swahili by the way all the time. It's just it's just not my strong point. Go, Murugi, you have to give us two minutes of Swahili. But what would I say? You want me to just have a monologue in Swahili? So Swahili. Sikiangu imekuwa nzuri sana. This bitch is smiling. She already knows. Eh, we've been quite a Nili amka asubui mapema sana. Um, na nimefanya vitu vingi sana. Na sasa niko hapa. Na nimeshukuru sana kwa nafasi. Sana, sana, sana. Okay. Sana. Na nimeshukuru kwa 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 Mhm. <laughs> Who opportunity? Kuja apa? Nafasi. Nafasi, exactly. Ya kukuja apa, kukuongea na nyinyi. Hebu ni kuhuze swali. Wamini kwamba, lori na uba chap chap, nafasi ya dereva ni ile ile. 
Hapana. <laughs> Lahasha. 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 <laughs> mm. Mm. Hapo sasa. Not, Hapo oh, sasa. Oh, oh, mm. God. The first time I had that statement, I didn't know they were talking about vaginas. Huh? Was that oh? Them big and them small. Now I see the revenue level. Wow. Ah yeah, we get it. Lahasha. 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 Ah yeah. Ndio. Ndio. Nam. 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 Another. Have you done this is love? Um, what is this is love? Up oh, it's a podcast. No. Okay, okay. So only one Simon, so you have your answer there. Yeah. Um but I'm going to soon. Mm. You're going to soon. Because mm. I love the podcast. Yeah, I love it. And when I do it, I'll say that it's me. I because I mean my voice and only yeah. you know, even, the reason why I didn't ask where the tweet because the way the question was framed, yeah. I was like, why would she say? Because yeah. she was like Back even specific episode, which exactly. is the one was there. Mm. I was like, I want, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, you have your answer. One episode of that, but the guys would just do it. No, but that's really? what she said, how she'll say. Yeah, yeah just say, yeah, because your voice is very good. So you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, exactly. And, and the guy was have... called Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> and now you just share a, a story that you're comfortable people knowing was true. your story. Uh, if you're true. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah. All right, cool. I think that those are the, the key ones. This is mm-hmm. the chapati maybe when there's a DM. Thank you, Checkmates, yeah. for your questions. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I want to say you. thank you so much, man. This was yeah. fun. This yeah. Was yeah. Fun. Before we finish, wait, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Three DMs okay. mm-hmm. about the business. About the business. Many Nairobi oh, babes yes. are wondering. Mm. Bona umefunga well by Murugi. And it's a business that was doing well. Yeah. So, Please. see, you remember I've, I've said here that I'm the kind of person who I can change my mind oh. at whatever point. Mm. When I opened that business in 2022, I was really passionate about fashion. Mm. I was looking for something to fill up my time. I wasn't as busy as I am right now. But since then, things have changed. Mm. I'm a lot busier now with my platform. Um, my kids are older. And even though they don't need me as much physically, mm. a lot about the way that I've structured my life now, especially like after having gone to therapy and dealing with some issues around always needing to be in hustle culture. Mm. I've just, I've, I've felt like I want to pivot to something else. And I think a lot of times people believe in Kenya. I don't know if it's in Kenya, in Nairobi, in Africa, that the only reason for you to close a business is it's not doing well. Yeah. The business was doing fantastic, yeah. but I'm just, I just don't feel like having a clothing store anymore. It, I just don't feel like it represents what I want right now. It requires a lot to run a business, Fox. by the way. It requires so much of your mental capacity, your physical managing employees. Um, Because I had like four employees there. It's a lot of it's very time consuming mm-hmm. and it's not something that I felt like I wanted to keep giving my time towards. Mm-hmm. And in future, I'm a serial entrepreneur by the way. Now, I'm going to Airbnb, GM Pesa shop and whatnot. So I have businesses, other businesses. It's just that maybe I don't speak about them as much. Yeah, yeah. And I know I'll probably open another business in the future, but right now, I'm going to a business. Okay. And yeah. I think that, to me, that's always my view of life. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm doing something today because I wanted to do it, if I don't yeah. want to do it tomorrow, it's okay. Because it may shape any more. It's one. Yeah. And, if, and if you wake up tomorrow and you're like, you know what, I want, the, I want you to come back. Absolutely. Do I can also open. And people yeah. will still come and they will still buy even oh. now at that time when I decide to open it. If mm. I decide to open something else, yeah. yeah. So right now I just want to focus on um other ventures. I want to spend more time with my family. Yeah. I want to focus a lot on my online platform because like now I'm super super busy with my online yes. platform. And that's even though the business was profitable, it wasn't making me as much money as my online platform does yeah. so yeah so i i really want to focus on where like it's like less energy a lot of income as opposed to like a lot of energy a lot of income but like you know mm-hmm. yeah i'd rather um focus on this other one yeah. but i'm so glad i'm so happy to everyone who ever supported my business it was fantastic who knows i could even as you've said in the future i can decide now i want to open and this is the good thing about having money is that you can make decisions like this whenever you want mm, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> this is for the money <laughs> ah, I mean. uh, okay we try again this is for the money Thank ah, you. <laughs> yeah, man. And also just a quick reminder that Red Bull Sugar Free is now available across all yes, stores, sir. convenience stores, clubs, or wherever you buy your favorite <laughs> beverages. So uh, you know. Please get one if you've not and let us know what you think. Exactly. So, thank you so much, man. Thank you. All thank the best you. in the event. Thank you. Um, I, wish, I wish I could attend, but I don't know. if uh, Maybe these guys can come. 31st is on a Saturday. No, it's Saturday, yeah. Next Saturday. Oh, it's a Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Damn, we have, oh, no. we have the event. Uh, no, we'll be here actually. We'll be recording day. on Saturday. We'll be here the whole day. Sorry. Labor, yeah. The labor, it's giving labor. <laughs> it's giving labor. Yeah. yeah, but we'll definitely check you guys out on the next. And all the best with thank the board, you. with life, with business, with everything you stand for. 
Time you bring the babies. Yeah, but yeah. like, I'm not. Yeah. 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 Never. Oh yeah. But thank you guys so much for having yeah. me. This, this set is fun. amazing. Thank, thank, thank you guys. You Appreciate you, man. Asantene. Yeah. All right. Murugi Muni, episode 192. We are My Stage. Over 26. <laughs> this is the Bag of Podcast. This is the Crunch Club. Over 26. The Bag of Podcast. The Mics are Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>